hi. It's um, it's group therapy night, and um, I just I have a feeling that we're gonna we're gonna unpack a lot tonight. Um, I do too. I, I honestly like it's ice bear good. It's nice. More ice bear, more good. Glossy yeah, well, poo. The dude the binds. Glossy poo. Hi, it's buddy. It's a beautiful. It's a beautiful day in the Nay Bearhood. It's a beautiful day in the Nay Bearhood. Do you, okay, do you, you know State Farm has been a thing for a long time, the insurance company, right? No, clearly not. They are brand new. Right. They haven't existed before today. That's true. So, um, you know, their slogan is like a good neighbor. State Farm is there. And I don't know if they still do it. But they used to, and I think I have one in like in my stuff down here. But they have like a a good nay bear, and it's a little teddy bear that's wearing a State Farm T-shirt. So. And see, and now you're in the nay bear hood. Who I am. Oh. All right. Oh, forget this it comfy. Is, this is Krakow's stream. Oh. This is what this is. Okay. And I'm wearing a frog hat. Let's not get that it's, it's just not questioning it. That's... This is just how it is around here. All right, where's my frog hat? I actually wore the frog hat yesterday, not on stream. All right, let me let me get it. Yeah, something like that, Viv. Um, all right, sorry. Like a good go neighbor, Thunder is here. My brain is very scrambled this week. It's been... It's been kind of a, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, and I am a horrible goose. It's true. It's, it's been a week this week. Um, let's, there we go. I coming through all right for y'all on the call? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, hello there, Allie Pup. Oh, hi, Pup. Um, okay, so, let's see. Who all, who all is here? Um, Dom is here, Viv is here, Fritz is here, Liz, hello and welcome in, friend. Um, Amy's here, Lollipop, of course, is here. Angie, hello, hello, sweet Angie. Oh, hey, I was muted. You you, you were muted. Sorry. There was a, there was a Vifa hanging out earlier. Hanging out, so... I just I just, I just dealt with uh, overly dramatic Jackson at the vet. Oh, how It did... took four of us to get his nails trimmed. Oh, poor four. buddy. Four. With with a muzzle and putting him on his side. Also, I'm sorry I didn't remind you about that. I totally dropped the no, ball. No, that's okay. No, it's fine. I, I took a nap and I set an alarm for myself and I was right on time. That's that's fair. Hello, pumpkin. Hello, ranger. Um everybody. Happy hump day. Happy Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Maybe maybe hello, Glossy Poo. It is it is always maybe good not, to see you Maybe friend. not. Um, the yogurt covered. Okay. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, um, those are my second favorite. They are. It's true. Happy Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday for those of you who are uh, far enough in, the in future. or you know uh, east of Europe, um, like Dom, who is you know upside down. Yogurt covered pretzels. Ooh, I like the chocolate covered pretzels, and honestly, like the chocolate covered craisins. Oh, I have to show you. I'm sorry. There you go. There you go, Ranger. Just for you, bud. Hello, Rocky. How are you? Rocky. Oh, Glotz. Same, bud. Same. I'm. I have no idea. I have no idea where the time has gone this week. Um. It's been. Uh. Yeah. It's been a hell of a week. This a hell of a month this week. They are very it's been a hell of a year this week. It's been a what? It's been a hell of a year this week. It has been a hell of a year this week. Speaking Caramellos. Oh, man. Boy, yeah. howdy. It has been a week. Caramellos. I've never had them. I'm not usually one for caramel, but they do look really good. This week, no, this week is not real. Like, Sydney had her own adventures this week, uh, including yesterday. When she took Bean's mom to the doctor, which incidentally, the doctor's appointment was like right around the corner from our house. There was a gas leak in the building. 
they had to get everybody out of the building and then people away from the building who were in the parking lot in their vehicles, including Sydney, who was in her cranked car. Um, Ayla, Ayla, I love you. I love you so much. Um, Iceberg needs it for everyday hustling. There it is. What are you doing down there? Um, I know I can't believe it's been a year already. Your 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 bear's having a week, just like the rest of us. Yeah, we're we're all kind of having a week. Some of us more than others. Um, some of us definitely more than others. Um, but yeah, so there was a gas leak. They and they were getting people out of their vehicles to move them away, including Sydney, who was in her running vehicle with the baby. So it's it's been a lot. Mochi, it's a disguise. It's okay, it's a disguise. I'm undercover. I'm doing some swamp research or something. I don't know. Hi, Mochi. Also, hi, Mochi. A friend of yours is having serious mental health issues. His therapist doesn't seem to help much, so I've been trying to support him as much as I can this week, but it's so exhausting. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Yeah. See, right. see, Mochi. He's trying to he's trying to support our frog friend Cracko that's, that's by true. wearing the frog hat. That's true. That's his, I am. But that's his disguise. Oh, Dom! Thank you for gifting that subby. And also, hi, Rue. How are you, bud? Ice bear needs it for everyday um, hustling. With the the, I'm gonna just blame it on the API. I'm sure the API is just being slow today. Um. So yeah, it's it's been. It has been a week for, like I said, for some folks more than others. Um, you know, some of us have been, some of us have been trying to be. Iceberg needs it for everyday hustling. Oh Jesus Christ! You, you, Viv, thank you. Uh, it's it's been a year. Yeah, it's all right. All right, I'll put on just for just for funsies. We'll just just Achoo. toss this on on top of the frog hat. Choo choo. We'll make this work somehow. A choo choo whistle. Ice bear is ready to Tokyo drift. Um. So. Hey Ranger, I'm not. I'm not telling you this to try and get you to give more money to Zunder, but if you are trying to get anything out of the like hype train emotes and stuff, you to have Tokyo to do drift. a minimum of a hundred bits. Just FYI. A hundred cumulative. But I'm not trying. But I'm not trying to get you to give Zunder more money. It's more of an FYI because not everybody knows that. Thank you, Pup. And thank you, Dom. And thank you, Ranger. And Viv. Um, no, that's fine. That's, I Like I said, I'm not trying to get you to give him more money. It's just not everybody knows that. So I was just... Listen, Ranger, I... No, that, I entirely. I, listen, that explains so much. Buddy, I, am, I, I appreciate every little bit. I, every little bit. Um, so before we get into too many other things... Um, I, I think there's sort of the, the elephant in the virtual room that we need to talk about. Um, really? What? I, uh, what? Yeah. Ice bear is ready to Tokyo drift. <clears throat> so, I, um, <laughs> so as many of you either know or were directly involved in, um, some... Inf a lot of information came out yesterday, and it kind of ended up happening um, in fairly, like, rapid succession. Like, a lot of shit happened yeah. yesterday between, yeah. like, needs it for everyday hustling. 2 a.m. and, like, 2 p.m. yesterday um, Eastern. In, like, a 12-hour span, a lot of things happened. Um For those of you who know, you know. For those of you who don't, um, a a Twitch partner. Also, thank you for the anonymous gift to Ranger. Whoever did, thank you very, very much. Um, don't blame me. I don't do anonymous. I know you don't. That's why we all know you're the Santa Claus of Twitch. Um, mm -hmm. So, uh, um, a a Twitch partner um, and someone who whose community has several ties to ours. Um, not as many as in the past. Um, but still we have a, we have a lot of shared folks in our community, or at least we did, uh, up until, 
um, a lot of things came to light yesterday. Um, there were yeah a yeah, lot less ties now. Yeah, I, a lot less. Um, uh, so just as a disclaimer, um, I was part of this person's community for a fairly brief time earlier in the year. Um, and I was involved for a lot longer. You were, Viv was for a very Take long time. Easy, dude. I'll leave the robe on for a few. Um, thank you. Ice Bear Betty to Tokyo Drift. Um, after a little while, um, I noticed some behavior. Uh, I, I got, I, I was made a moderator rather abruptly. Hi, kitty. Welcome in. Um, I was made a moderator rather you, abruptly in that community. Hi, Kitty, I love your face. Um, and there were some behavior on stream by the streamer that I wasn't very comfortable with. Um, so I made it a point in the moderator chat to call it out um, and let them know that that wasn't acceptable behavior. That wasn't an acceptable way to talk to their viewers. Um, it wasn't an acceptable way to joke with their viewers. And um, I was then removed from the mod team. And um, at that point, we basically went our separate ways uh, for the most part. Um, I, whether, you know, that's whatever, that was their decision. Um, I, I did what I felt was right. And, and yeah, That's, you were definitely made an example of to put it bluntly. It's exactly what it was. Um, yeah, so I uh uh Glotz, you probably do. Iceberg you, good. You, More you probably More do. Good. Um if if not directly then um through friends of ours like uh Tab. Tab. Um, and then a bunch of us very shortly thereafter were all removed from mod. Yeah. Um yeah, I yeah. Yeah, that's that's true. Also thank you Kitty for the follow. Um so nice I uh, for everyday hustling. Thank you Dommy. I appreciate you. Um and I left shortly thereafter because of many of this many of these things. Yeah. Um so I So I basically severed myself from that community fairly quickly. Uh also thank you all for that hype train. I appreciate that. Very, very, very much. Um, and, you know, I decided that that wasn't where I really wanted to be or what I wanted to be involved with. Um, so a few weeks ago, uh, they reached back out to me to let me know that they, were, you know, wanted to apologize for the way they behaved um, and let me know they were getting some help for the stuff that they were dealing with. And I have a lot of respect for that. Like if you're getting help, you know, getting help is never and I, easy. And it's, I also got, I also got a similar, but not copied apology and explanation. Um, I, I yeah. So I got, um, I got messages and I talked to this person about, you know, you know, briefly about what was going on, but I let them know I, I stood by my actions and my what I said to them, that the way that they behave, not just towards their community, but towards, you know, their viewers, but also towards the people that they called friends, especially the ones they called close friends, wasn't acceptable. Um, you know, just flat out, you, you don't, there are certain things and certain ways you don't say things to people. Um, whether on stream or not, doesn't matter. Um, certain behaviors you just don't do. Again, whether on stream or not. Um, and, um, you know, they seem to understand that and agree. And, you know, I let them know. I said, admitting that you're wrong is never easy. I know, I have to do it all the time. I make mistakes all the time. But the big thing is making sure that you learn from that and you apply what you've learned and actually make a concerted effort to change going forward. Um, so, again, that was three or four weeks ago, maybe. Um, now, um, 
several women has come forward. Um, some of them right here in chat. So I, obviously I cannot tell their stories. Um, certainly no better than they could. But uh, the point is that uh, the streamer was at best treating his community sort of like a bar scene uh, and at worst um, targeting and, and finding women to, um, you know, engage in relationships with. There is a pattern of him saying sorry, saying he's going to change, and then within a couple of weeks going back to the exact same behavior that he was doing before. It's happened multiple times. We are not we, using. We can't, Dom. We are not using names. We are not using names. Um, I just, I just kind of want to tell, in, you know, not so uncertain terms, what's going on, so everyone kind of has an idea. Um, so. So I know, um, again, several folks that are in chat today, um, they came forward and told their stories about how, you know, their, the nature of their relationship with this person. Um, and, um, we, we we make it a point here. We joke a lot. We have a lot of fun and we joke a lot. Um, we don't, but one of the things that we, we're always very clear about is consent. Now, consent doesn't just extend to the two people who are involved in a, you know, in a individual relationship, but it also extends to everybody else who may be around them, okay? Um, for example, I am in a monogamous relationship with my wife, okay? We love the bean. We do, we love the bean very, very much. Um, if I were to seek a relationship with another person um, without her consent to do so, that is not full consent. That is not her consent. Okay, because I am still in a relationship with her and me seeking a outside relationship still requires her consent as well as the person who with whom I'm seeking another relationship with. Okay. Um, misinformed consent is not consent. So being told that someone's in an open relationship, but they have a don't ask, don't tell policy is not the same as actually being in an open relationship or being non-monogamous right and that's and getting consent on false pretenses is that's misinformed consent and that is not consent and that is not okay all right i want to make that very very clear that's not something that we do here this is not something that we do in our community okay whether it's my community or you know there's a, a group of us that um, we are content creators that kind of are together in a group, um, including Alipop. Um, but the point is that doesn't fly here. Okay. And I have zero tolerance for it. And while I appreciate people trying to make a change and better themselves, and make up for you know past mistakes. Uh, I have zero sympathy for someone who won't admit when they've done something wrong, and continue a pattern like that. Um, so that person is no longer welcome in our community. Um, again, not just mine, but uh, our group as a whole. And um, again, no tolerance for that. Uh, consent is is extremely, extremely key in any relationship. And again, getting consent based on false pretenses, that's not consent. That is consent under, under, it, it's consent based on a lie. That's just, it's consent based on a lie. Um, and, and it's, you know, there, there is still a lot of stuff that hasn't been, uh, accounted, held accountable 
for. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, you know, there are some things that I know that, um, that are not my story to tell, but there are some things that are more serious than just flirting and sending pictures online that I know have happened that haven't been addressed. Yes. And yeah, the, the half, I'm sorry if you, yeah, I'm sorry. No, I agree with entirely. I'm, I'm sorry if you feel like this, that's not an apology. That's, that's not an apology. I'm um, sorry if this upset. Yeah, no, it, no, that's, that's not how it works. Um, so I'm sorry, but yeah, no, that's, that's no. Um, so again, getting consent on false pretenses is not consensual. Plain and simple. You have a partner and you are doing something that your partner has not agreed to in your relationship. And you're getting, forming a relationship with someone else based on information that's not true about your current relationship. That's lying. That is non-consensual. And I, again, zero tolerance for it. It will not stand here. Plain and simple. But... I just, so yesterday, um, I, I woke up and I had messages from three different folks letting me know what was going on. Um, and one of those happened to be the person who, at least until yesterday, called him her best friend. And because of the stress that she has been under due to everything surrounding this and kind of the sh really shitty situation that he put her in. Um, repeatedly. Repeatedly. And honestly, one of the people that, like, again, something I called him out on is the way he's treated her in the past, especially someone you call a friend or a best friend at, for that matter. Um, I, when, when it causes physical distress to someone like that, like it's just, Like people who don't think about the consequences of their actions to the people around them, you know, that just, that pisses me off, especially people like her who didn't deserve any of that, didn't deserve any of that, so, you know, you, I, Mochi, I have seen, I have seen a lot of those, um, and I, you know what? I'm glad you didn't back down. Um, that's honestly the way that he has treated her. Yeah. Especially the amount of time that it's been going on is worse than what he's done to anybody else because he takes out his frustration with anything else that's going on on her, yeah. which isn't fair. And it's, it's emotionally abusive. Well, and it's, yeah, it's, it's call it what it is. It's shit. It's absolute shit. Um, just to have again, someone that calls you their best friend and to continuously treat them like that is that to me says everything I need to know about that person. Um, I, yeah. And Mochi, I'm, I'm, I am, obviously I don't know full details, but I am aware of the nature of your relationship with his fiance. Um, and you know, you were defending a friend. Like at what point does he stop having a fiance? That's not, 
that's honestly that's not for us to decide that's, that's yeah, not that's, between I know. That's between them. I know I know I know I, and I know what you're saying like I I'm I'm yeah yeah I get it I, I just you know but again and mochi the fact the fact that you didn't back down even when people were like where's the proof where's the proof was just Oh my gosh, it was so infuriating reading through that. I uh, yeah, and again, but I I'm glad that you said it and that you didn't back down. You, and the proof was his own words. He admitted to at least some of what he's done. Yep, 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 and again, you know, when when you are a streamer, when you're a content creator and you build a community like the one that we have here, okay? I have a certain sense of responsibility to this community. I have a sense of responsibility to all of you, okay? Like to you and to you. And part of that responsibility is ensuring the safety of the people in my community while they are in my community. And I feel like there was a gross violation of that trust. Um, thank you, Dom. Hi, Spirit um, Betty to Tokyo Drift. I feel like there is a, there was a gross violation of that trust in that community. Because again, at best, you're treating your community like a bar scene. And at worst... You're using it as a pool to prey on and find people to, you know, to get Snapchat pictures from or to sleep with or whatever. Whatever. I don't care. The fact is, it's shit. It's wrong. It shouldn't have happened. And again, it's not going to happen here. And anyone, anyone ever comes here and tries to pull some shit like that in my community, I will make sure you don't go anywhere near me or any of my people ever again. Ditto. D ditto. Ditto. Ever. Do not. Do not come into my community and try to pull some shit like that. Do not try to pull some shit like that. Ever. Um, Tani, we, the short version is, um, there is a, a content creator, a Twitch partner, who um, had several women come forward yesterday and talk about the nature of their relationships with him. Um, that were um, consented upon under false pretenses, saying that either he wasn't in a relationship or was in an open don't ask, don't tell relationship, whatever it may be, with his fiance when that wasn't true. So getting consent under false pretenses from women in his community. Um, and not going to happen. Not going to fucking happen here. Yeah. Yeah. So again, and also emotionally abusive to his best friend, who was his co-host yes. for a long period of time. Yes. Um, to the like point taking out frustrations about things that were going on with some of these women or whatever on her when she was supposed to be his best friend. Yeah. Um, and frankly, I just informed consent was not there. That correct. Correct. Uh, Viv said it perfectly earlier. Misinformed consent is not consent. It's the way it is. You might have individual consent with one person, but if you are in an existing relationship, you goddamn better have consent from the other person in that relationship before you do anything else. That's how the fuck it works. That's it. There's, there's no gray area here. That's it. Like... Like, if you claim to be in a relationship that you are staying in, you know, then get the fuck out of here. I just, no. No. So, 
Um, And Liz, then you completely understand when you have a partner or partners before you enter into a relationship with another partner, you have the consent of everyone involved. That's it. It's that simple. Hey, I met so-and-so. I think I might like them. Is this something I can pursue? Yes. Great. No. Okay. That's it. Done. Done. Yeah, don't ask, don't tell is that's that's not a, that's not consent. That is not informed consent. When you're not asking yeah. and you're not telling, that is not informed consent. Plain and simple. There's no gray area. That's just not But but if that is actually a thing that everybody involved has decided they want it to be, you know, we can't we can't speak to every relationship. No, we can't. But but when I mean, but it is it is a red flag for sure. Yeah. I know Fritz. I know buddy. And by the way, can we can everybody tell Fritz happy birthday please? Well, happy birthday Fritz. Tell everybody please tell Fritz happy birthday. It's his birthday today. He's been playing with Legos all day. He's been just having oh. a great time today. Um Sorry, we're being serious. <laughs> I know, I know, buddy. I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry, but we just, we had to, we, we had to talk about it. It's very important. I want to make sure that everybody here knows that this is the kind of community that we have. These are the kind of things that we don't stand for, that we don't tolerate. And he's still playing with Legos. Excellent. And still playing with. Legos. Listen, <laughs> you know what? You know what, Amy? As he Good. fucking should. As he fucking Good. should. It's what he deserves. He deserves to be happy and play with Legos on his birthday or any other day. Tara said she'll hop in later on. Not sure exactly when. Oh, okay. All right. Well, then we will keep a lookout. We will keep a lookout. Um. So he literally put Lego fun time oh, on the calendar. So cute. Yeah, that's perfect. That's so cute. Thank you, I Kitty. Thank you very much. Um, so, uh, again, um, for those of you who are new, group therapy night is about talking about whatever's on our mind. Um, if there are those of you who would like to come join us on voice, um, if you would like to continue this conversation and tell your side of the story or, you know, just you want to scream into the void, you know, we're more than happy to have you hop in the discord, uh, jump into one of the voice channels. Um, and we can, we can make that happen. Um, if you DM, um, either myself or, um, Ali pup, we can, we can make that happen. I can't do, I can't do that. No, I'm sorry. You what? I said I can't do that. No, no, sorry. No, nope. Sir. No. Definitely can't. No. I think you're muted, Alina. I said no. He doesn't exist. He's just a figment. <laughs> he's not even, bro. He's not even here. He's not even well, supposed to be I, here as today. I, as I told you, your your employee needs to call off with a case of uh, my wife's new computer needs set up. So <laughs> that's that's what I heard. I, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and and again, I will let you know that. Listen, unless you have something really compelling, like a note from, say, Yoshi P. See, last time I got I a note. Feel from, like... I got a note from Yoshi P. Last time, I can't argue with that. No, I, I, I can't argue I mean, with the Yoshi P. What about a note from said wife? Okay, maybe. Like... Okay, but what if my wife was Yoshi P. Then you would be a very lucky man. Wow, that's yeah, hey. that's hey yo, oh, bless Yoshi P, bless our Lord and Savior Yoshi P. Um, I'd be uh, I'd be showing him some leg to get past all the cues all the time. That's <laughs> true. That's true. It's like, it's all, like hey, all hail hey. our Lord and Savior Yoshi P. It's like hey, you wanna, you know that cues looking cues looking a little bad. Want some craisins? How how you doing, want, Yoshi? What can we do with, for you? Want some of this? <laughs> 
Dom, I, 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 I appreciate Hello. that, buddy. Hello. Glotzy Poo, hi, buddy. How are you? Wait, is this the Glot? This, this is, is the Glot, yes. This is yes. the Glot, yeah. The, the Glot of the, 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 uh, the Moss Farm? The whatever farm of Krakow's Doom? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> the cactus farm. The, the cactus, cactus farm. farm. I know it's a green, <laughs> green oh. Minecraft thing. Oh, my reputation precedes me, oh. I say. <laughs> I, I was about to ask, how do you know of my super over the top moss farm? <laughs> and realized, oh, you meant the cactus farm. Because I actually, at one point during the snapshots, made like a super <laughs> way too stupid moss farm that was like <laughs> just a child out of hell i was like <laughs> how do you know about that wasn't it doing like some kind of like like hundreds of thousands per hour or something like that the moss farm yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> you just know that oh. that that Krako got a sassy of, out of it and and that's all i know yeah, that was the cactus farm. <laughs> By the way, if 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 you all like um if you if you like Minecraft, uh Glotz is f he's a phenomenal technical Minecrafter. He's a member of Psycraft. Um he's a great friend of our our extended communities. We love Glotz very very much. So if, you know, if you enjoy that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. go give him a follow. Plus, he does some pretty nifty magic tricks every once in a while if you ask him nicely. Oh. So. It's true. It's true. You know, it's true. I've seen it. <laughs> yeah, every now and then. Even though I took a bit of a break from Twitch, I'm, I'm planning to come back soon-ish. So within the next few days. Yeah. But, yeah. <sighs> Breaks are good. Breaks are nice. Breaks yeah. are very good. I've taken, I've taken a couple of them lately. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you took the entire what? week off of work. Yeah, I did. Glad and, I did, too. Me too. You know what I feel the most frustrating sometimes? When you're like, okay, I need to take a break to chill out a bit, but then during the break, because you're involved with so much IRL stuff, you get more stressed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're yep. like, now I need a break from my break. Yeah, I need a vacation after my vacation. Oh my god, I, exactly. I feel that. God, I feel that on a spiritual level. Who doesn't yeah. know anything about that? What are you talking about? Yeah, I'm joking. I'm 100% I'm <laughs> joking. I don't want her to murder me, and I, I and won't she might. You. We do have a kitty in voice. It's we true. do have a kitty. Hi, kitty. Welcome in. Hello. Hi. Okay, <sighs> Mike is working. Cool. So. <laughs> it has been it has been a hell of a month this week, and it has been a hell of a decade this year. Yeah. It is 2 a.m. And you I know, for here. some for someone who uh, wasn't brought up that they can do this, I sure am pulling a lot of people into this channel. You, you know, you sure are, buddy. You sure are. <laughs> Listen, it's, <laughs> it's, it's it's not it's not my fault. You're too fast. I was getting ready to pull Liz in, and you did it before I could. Lollipop can't do Listen, those things, though. I've got yeah. I've got very quick fingers. It's true. Such speed. <laughs> Mini wow. <laughs> Mini wow. Hello. Mini. Also, welcome, Liz. Thank you. Hello. So, um, I, I know that I certainly don't know a lot of the finer points and I don't know your individual stories, just like, you know, I'm sure you didn't know some of the details about mine. Um, but I do hope that I, ice bear good, you know, gave more the, ice bear, more good. Hello, Taro. Welcome in. Um, I, I do hope that I gave the, the, the details that I did give uh, from from your side, I I hope that I did get them uh, correct. You you did you did justice to what you wanted to portray. Mm -hmm. You conveyed it well. Um, yes, exactly. Thank you, Kitty. I know sometimes it's very difficult. Words are hard. English is hard. English is hard. It's not my first language. It's my well, it technically it's, is, but it isn't. You it's know what? It's my first language, and it's still really hard for I, me too. I, I'm from the American I feel like anyone, South. I don't know English. I feel yeah. like anyone that tries to learn English as like a, a secondary language, I feel like we owe them an apology. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, that's, yes, you do. That's fair. We owe them that's cookies. very fair. Yeah. Yes, I like, too. I like cookies. Oh yeah. Cookies. English is three yeah. owls in a trench coat that are stealing grammar from other languages. That's yeah. That's, and then you have Norwegian that keeps stealing 
Or it's from English. And it's annoying. I mean, listen, Viv, I don't don't threaten me with a good time. Oh, I like the Boston accent though. It's nice. We I love just like Viv hearing Viv much. talk. I do mm. too. I I haven't heard Viv talk in a very long time. We love Viv. I'm missing out. I know. Missing out. We love Viv so much around here. Viv Viv is Viv is best Viv. And we, we Viv and I talked a lot yesterday. I imagine yeah. you did. Like a lot. I imagine yes. I imagine Viv and several people talked quite a bit yesterday. Pretty much saying I, I got messaged by the, the co host, you know, freaking out. I, and then I went into yeah. the person's stream and I saw Viv and I, I just went, Hey Viv and beam DM straight up like, Hey Viv <laughs> What's happening? Uh, give me the tea. Yeah, and we we, we got talking. Ranger, um, it was very nice to be listened to. Ranger, I I appreciate you. Um, I again, I my what I do here is is small compared to what other people have already had to deal with and experience. Um, but again, it's I have a certain sense of responsibility to to all of you. And um, I, I feel like I need to, you know, shoulder that responsibility properly. So. I will be right back. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. I do really appreciate you for, you know, taking the speaking apart. Because in a very silly, well, not silly, very stereotypical the way society works, guys often only listen to other guys. Uh, that's a sad, sad truth. Um, yeah, but w we can use that to our advantage sometimes. Taro, it's it's not that I'm responsible for another person's actions. I I I was saying earlier yeah, how not. I have a certain sense of responsibility to the people in my community, like to the people you know, the people here and the people here, like you. Um, and mm -hmm. my job as sort of the steward of this community is to make sure that I do my best to take care of the people in this community when they are in it. Um, and to, you know, not only make sure that they aren't taken advantage of by people who try to come into our community and do that, but also myself certainly don't take advantage of the people in my community. Um, well, it is Thank it is you. community figureheads it. that uh steer are they're the ones that let that kind of behavior grow and flourish and making sure that you're not one of those people is extremely important for that reason. I making I, sure you're not one of those people. I think you know what I'm trying to say. I know what you're trying to say. I know what you're trying to say. I'm just um, bad at words. I know. Hi, Allison. I love y'all. Give give Tom extra potatoes from me. Uh, Taro, you're absolutely right, um, and that's why you know I I wanted to make sure that I could tell you know experiences with this person and my experiences with this person and being in their community for the brief amount of time that I was, um, and then again, you know there are folks here like Kitty and Liz that know about this firsthand that have had to deal with this firsthand. Um, and I want to make sure that, you know, this is, again, this is what group therapy night is all about here is if you have something that you need to talk about, if you have somewhere that you just need to listen, you just need to sit and be with people, you know, be with like-minded folks who, um, who are, you know, of, of the right mindset, then, that's what this is for. That's what group therapy night is all about is um, just just having, you know, this space where we can do that kind of thing. Um, also, dark. Hi, I'm sorry. I didn't I, I wasn't trying to ignore you. It's just brain's been a little fuzzy the last couple of days. Um, I'm I I kind of get to a point where like if when things like this happen, I, I worry about folks, um, you know, folks like. You know, Lollipop, Elena, and Alley Pup can tell you I've been, I've been pretty, just 
frazzled about this the last couple of days. Um, and I know Elaine and I had a very long conversation about it yesterday. Um, was it yesterday or was that today? That was yesterday, wasn't it? Yesterday. Okay. See, I, I can't even remember. Um, but you know, I, I always want to make sure that I'm doing the right thing and that I'm doing enough of the right thing. That's what I was trying to say last night, pup. You know, when you get random messages from me at one in the morning, um, I just want to make sure that I'm doing the right thing for the people around me. Um, cause again, I feel a certain sense of responsibility, um, for the people who kind of gathered around me, you know, like y'all are my people. This is my job is to make sure that I do right by you and make sure right is done by you, at least to the extent that I can while you're here. Um, so I just, it's, it's, I'm very, I'm, I'm with Viv. It's been a very mentally and emotionally draining past couple of days. I know Viv, buddy, I, oh, Viv, 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 I love you so much. I'm so sorry that you've had to be in the middle of all of this. Um, I agree, Dart. I, I agree. Like, this is the kind of thing that we need to call people out on and make sure that, you know, again, that we, that people understand that that kind of thing's not acceptable here. And we, if, if you try to come here with that, or if you're the kind of person that tries to come into our community, you can fuck right off. Sorry. Not sorry. Not even a little. So. I think. Is it okay to say something about the situation? Of course, of course. What else, this is, yeah, this is for you. For you. Um, I think the biggest thing that's affecting a lot of people right now is that this kind of blindsided a lot of people. Um, not because his behavior wouldn't lead to it. It's because... A lot of people, I guess, never expected anybody to come forward about him. And especially in this way, because he's so vocal about punishing people who are predators. And he's so vocal about that, and he pretends to try and get those people away from others yeah so a lot of people thought and like a lot of people thought that he would not be the kind of person to do this and i i like i i one of my experiences with him was specifically i went to another leader of a group he was in because of a predator targeting me and another woman, the woman who was his best friend. Um, I went to somebody else and he messaged me asking why I didn't come to him first. And the simple answer is because I didn't know if he would actually do anything. And a lot of people are probably blindsided because he has actively banned people who seem to be targeting others in his community. And it takes a lot of energy when somebody does come forward and speaks out. It takes a lot of energy to be like, okay, I need to step back and realize that somebody's telling the truth here and I have to figure out who that is. Yeah. I don't know if I said what I wanted to say properly. I'm sorry. No, no. Words are hard. It's fine. Words are, words are very hard. And I, I, yeah. And 
I think what I'm trying to say is I kind of when I decided to come out about this I needed to do it in a way that kind of did blindside people not because I wanted to blindside people but because if anybody else really knew what was going on there was a chance he would find out and start trying to do damage control immediately yeah because he does that yep and for everybody who was blindsided i kind of want to just give him a hug i've been told to stop saying sorry <laughs> so i just want to give everybody a hug and be like it's not your fault for not noticing these things so Liz, I have I have a similar problem where I I tend to say sorry a lot for things that I you know I I I can't really help. So I feel you on that. Um, it, you know I I had heard little whispers here and there of of him having you know relationships outside of his his actual monogamous relationship and. But of course, you know, little things here and there, and I, I don't. Um, I mean, you know, I, I can't do anything based on third-hand rumors. Um, but of course, you know, if someone's having, you know, doing their thing, okay, fine. If I'm being told that, you know, if if I don't know that it's non-consensual, what am I supposed to do? You know, like all I can do is, is go with the information that I have. Yeah. So exactly. And that's, and I think again, that's, that's kind of the, one of the overarching things here is that when you have, um, consent under false pretenses, you give consent based on the information that you have. Yeah. Um, and yes, yes. No, you're 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 you're, you're okay, Taro. Um, you're, but that's then that's something that we we talked about earlier. Um, misinformed consent is not consent. It's it's not. When you give consent, when you give consent, um, based on information that you that false information, then you can't properly give consent. Oh, pup, you better get food. You know what I'm going to do. You know what I'll do. Um, being bullied into consent is not consent. Um, being told, being lied to about your relationship status, and, and that's not being able to give proper consent. I th Coercion and consent are not the same thing. That's correct. No, they're not. Um, and again, the, 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 issue, the issue isn't, isn't consent itself. Because had the information been true and you gave the consent, that's one thing. Had had he been telling the truth and I gave my consent, I wouldn't have said a thing. Right. Because it would it would, it, everyone would have been consenting to it and there would have been yeah. no problem. My the reason why I came out and said something is because I found out specifically that he was telling other people different things about his relationship. And that's when I knew he was lying to me. Yeah. He was telling us all different things. Yep. And that's when I knew he was lying. I didn't have confirmation that he was lying before that. I had my suspicions, but I... As anybody who's got their suspicions, they question themselves. You question yourself. You're like, am I crazy? Is this, is this something that I should act on? Is this something that I should do? Is this something that needs paid attention to? Yeah, Ranger, is this something that... Sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. You're fine. <laughs> um, it, it's just you're constantly questioning yourself. Like, is this, is this important enough to actually say anything about? And like, it got to a point eventually where I did, in fact, tell him that I wanted no more contact about that kind of thing. Because I was in a relationship. 
he forgot twice that I had asked him to not contact me like that anymore. And he, and I say forgot with quotation marks because mm -hmm. I don't know if he actually forgot or if he was using that as an excuse. And then the second he found out that that relationship was over, he came back and asked again. And there was also this implied, like, uh, Tara Artis is saying, there was also an implied threat that if I didn't do what he wanted or have a good enough excuse for not doing what he wanted, he would cut me out of his life and therefore cut me out of his community. Mm -hmm. I, and again, in the brief time that I was a, a mod in that in in that community um i know there were at any given time there were certain people that we were to give different like leeway or to treat differently than others and it all kind of changed depending on what was going on at the time yeah um and again that kind of favoritism that's like you can't yeah like that's it, one it, when you decide to treat someone differently especially someone that you could potentially be in some kind of romantic whatever with um then like people aren't stupid we know what that means you know mm -hmm. um but also, at that point, again, you're kind of missing the entire point of being the steward of your community. Like, you don't treat someone better just because you're pursuing a side thing with them. Like, Bean, I, be, I treat Bean differently. She's my wife. Okay, but that's... That's one thing. But that's, that's one thing. thing. That's one thing. This is not, you know, this, 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 is, this is not the same thing as, hey, I'm, you know, getting Snapchat you from people on the side. You know, you don't really treat her differently, though. Like you, she's not allowed to like get away with anything that you wouldn't let us do. I mean, other than maybe walking in on you, but that would be weird because we don't live with you. Like, well, yeah, you don't. She doesn't get to act out, or you don't like. I don't Wait, know. Do, do we get to send him messages via his printer? I mean, you've asked <laughs> Bean to print things out, so yes. Yes, yes, yeah, actually, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Also, Krakow sends me things via my printer, so. Oh, I like via bean, but still really treat her differently. <laughs> I, I, I think there's also the thought process of there's a difference between favoritism and certain people being around long enough to get certain privileges. Right. Mm. Like lollipop gets away with calling me a bitch every night because he's been around here long enough and I can't fire him at work because I need him. <laughs> but uh, but don't tell him strimmer. but don't tell him don't tell him i need him because then he'll get he'll get a big head about it and then he'll he'll lord it over me uh, ask for a raise <laughs> ask for a raise he's already done that <laughs> but in 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 his defense i am working on it <laughs> oh, good good because that was going to be my next question yes yes i'm still working on it um, but, uh, I know I just had to export it to your work computer. Oh, for stuff. sake, Dom. Like, I, I don't know how, how many of you have been in the community for a long time, but I've been in that community for a while. I think you were there before I ever was, Kitty. Yeah, because, um, when I first joined... His partner, you know, girlfriend, fiance, don't know the status. She used to be in the chat all the time. But he wouldn't say that he was dating her. It was like, this is just, this is her. This is a person. And he treated her like everyone else. So I was on the impression that he was single. And then we, at some point, it changed, like, in, like um, Snapchats. 
and we talked normally and he got flirty and he approached subjects of pictures and he approached all of that. I never did because I have a lot of trauma when it comes to pictures and stuff because I've been blackmailed when I was a minor and I've had a lot of shit to deal with in my life with that kind of stuff. And he still pushed for it. Um, I remember. I'm oh, sorry. And, yeah, and when I found out about his partner, um, and I was already then, you know, angry. One of his friends in voice chat were playing Diablo or something. Uh, said something sexist, um, and I got upset with Ken. Sorry, no <clears throat> person for not, um, you know, calling them out on it. So I was banned for like six or seven months. Yeah. And then I got an apology and I got brought, brought back in kind of thing. And then I was told that they had an open relationship and he kept pushing. Um, I remember when he first approached me, it was like either the week I met him or a couple weeks in. Mm -hmm. But he, he started out messaging me on Discord. And then one day he asked me for my Snapchat and I'm like, I don't really use Snapchat. Can we just keep talking here? And he insisted on using Snapchat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He insisted on using Snapchat. So I downloaded it and I'm just like, eh, maybe it'll be fine because I, I had other friends who used it. So I was like, you know what? At least I'll be able to see their snaps too. And it, I'll finally be back in that community as well. So it wasn't really something that I questioned too much. And then as soon as I gave him my Snapchat, he started getting really heavy handed. And I'm like, you know, I'm in a relationship. Because I was in a relationship at the time. Mm -hmm. And I told him that I was in a relationship and that I wasn't comfortable with this. And I would really rather not. I kept telling him I'd really rather not. And he kept pushing and pushing and pushing. I... Unfortunately, I will admit that I did find him attractive at the time, enough so that I ended my relationship because if I found somebody else attractive in the relationship that I was in, I wasn't being honest with myself about the state of the relationship and I needed to end it. I did not end it because of him. I want to make that very clear. Mm. Mm. I ended it because my emotions had changed and I was aware that my emotions had changed. I was made aware my emotions had changed by the situation unfortunately but not because of him but mm -hmm. not because of him i did yeah. not end my relationship because of him right. i want to make that very heavily clear right yeah yep um but i ended that relationship and i found out about moon and he kept pressuring me and i'm like but what about moon and he told me that they were in a don't ask don't tell open relationship and i'm like i'm not comfortable with that and he kept pressuring me yeah, let's let's let's. I I know it's I know it's tough. Let's just make sure we try to keep names out of it. Oh, sorry, that's, sorry. That's, it's okay. I, I understand. yeah, I slipped up once too. I, We're I, good. I understand. I understand. It's it's. Y'all have got a lot of process. I get it. But he, I I asked him about her, and he's like, they were in a don't ask, don't tell relationship. So, and I told him I wasn't comfortable with that, and um. He kept pressuring me after that. And that little part of me coming out of the relationship I was in, I really wanted to feel something again. And eventually that won out. And I'm not saying that I didn't know what I was doing. I'm not saying that I regret my decision. What I'm saying is I found out he was lying to all of us collectively and I wasn't going to stand by and let that happen to somebody else. Mm. The, 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 point, the point, I think the overarching point is this. You gave consent based on information. If you found out that he beforehand that he was in a closed relationship, would you have given consent? No. That's the point. 
if I had That's if I had point. known for sure that he was in a closed relationship, I never would have given consent. That's the point. Um, and Viv Viv is absolutely right. You like you he took advantage of your wanting to feel wanted, and I, we all feel that way at some point. We all do. Um, but that's, if, if anything that gives you like, that's, you shouldn't like try to get attention from someone purely because they want to feel wanted. Like that's yeah. plain and simple. Um, yeah, I talking about Snapchat and the, the impermanence of Snapchat conversations. Um, I know that, um, his best friend, um, you know, I has, um, they had had conversations where, uh, he was less than kind to her and, um, mm -hmm. he had told her to delete messages after they had talked on discord and like he specifically instructed her to delete messages so that they wouldn't be there anymore. Um, and that to me was when it all really clicked that like, not only is this guy, not somebody I want to be associated with, but that's, that's, but he also knows what he's doing. Right. Exactly. Like, like when, when you, when you have when that kind of asking evidence to be deleted he knows exactly what he's doing exactly mm -hmm. exactly and that's that's and that's that's you know like to me that just and maybe it's because i've been around you know people in my life who have who've been you know affected by people like that but that to me just it clicks with like abuser mentality behavior and i'm yeah i'm not saying that he is an abuser, but I am saying that that is the kind of mentality that goes into something like that, where you don't want to leave a paper trail where someone can't come back and see what you've said. Like if you're, if, if you don't want someone to, to see it, if you, if you don't want like someone to come at you for it later, don't fucking say it. Don't fucking say it. Um, I don't, Taro, I don't think it's my place to say that. I, I don't think that I, I have the right or the authority to say that. Um, I will say that the, the behavior pattern is, but it, I don't think that I'm the, the person that can make that judgment call. Um, I can tell you that he's emotionally abusive to his best friend. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's I'm reading that's through fair. DMs I have. That's fair. And we've talked a lot about it. <sighs> also, I'm back. Welcome also, back. Welcome back. I think I think it's fair to say that he's at the very least emotionally abusive to a lot of people. Yeah. Absolutely. Because he doesn't... He's nice until he doesn't want to be. And then when he doesn't want to be, he kicks you out of his community. Mm -hmm. He's absolutely that way with his mods. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's... That's He's nice until he doesn't want to be, and then he kicks you out of his community if you don't agree with him and are vocal about it in any way, shape, or form. That's what happened yeah, he, with me. He doesn't like being. He doesn't like being told that he's wrong, even if he's wrong. Yeah, that's again. I I was hastily made a mod. Um, and, and then, then you were hastily made a not not a mod. It was. It lasted. I think it lasted six days. Yeah. Six days. Um, and I was a mod for a few months. The mm. the content in or the 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 thing in question was uh, a viewer, and I think like a, a new viewer came into chat or someone who hadn't been there very long, um, asked him. You know, I'm I'm just gonna Ranger. I'm gonna stick with the Greek yogurt. That sounds like a good option, bud. Um, 
the a, a, a fairly new or brand new viewer came into chat and, and said, hey, can you help me out? You know, what can I do to kind of boost my channel or, you know, help out my oh numbers my and God. stuff? You remember this. You remember when this happened. Um, and his response to the viewer was, don't ask me. I don't know. Um, if you, you, you know, if you do what I tell you to do, you know, you might as well, what was it? Take it out back. If you want to know how to, if you want to know how, how to, to run your, your stream into, how to kill your channel, I like, can take it out back and shoot with a shotgun. Yeah, put a shotgun like in its, its little mouth. Um, and that was... Oh, I sound out. What? Yeah. Wait, what? That's what did weird. he say? Somebody That's came in and was asking for advice about streaming, and he said, I'm not the right person to ask. If you want to know how to run your stream into the ground, I can tell you. And, you know, it basically amounts to taking it out back and putting a shotgun in his mouth or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. What the hell? That's and that's not, I was oh, not there for that one. I would remember that one. That was that was that was a few months ago. And that was that's at that point is when I like um Viv and Pup remember that quite well because Yeah. Um and Dom, I think I think you were I think yeah, you were a, a few of us, including myself and Dom and a couple of people reported him for it and nothing happened. Um, I, I talked to several people about this and m like my point was like, I know I had only been a mod for a few days. Um, but I, I frankly, I, I am like, I'm like, listen, I, I can't not say anything about this. Like I cannot say I can't not say something about this. Like you you don't talk about like you you cannot talk to to a, a stream a viewer that way. Like if nothing else, if nothing else, your stream is a business. Okay, you can't run a business like that, but you also can't fucking talk to people like that. Okay, you have no idea what someone is dealing with, what someone is struggling with. Um, it, it, Tani, if they investigated it at all, if they investigated also, it at all, um, um Tara, we, we aren't, we can't use the name on, on stream. You could report it. It's, it's against terms of service. Again, we, we can't, we, we cannot do that. But um, you know, if you look on Twitter, there's, and you look on my my Twitter account, you'll yeah. see it. If you look on Liz All or there. Kitty's Twitter, yeah. Yeah. you can see the context. But we just Muted. you yeah. you cannot you can't we can't we're not allowed. Via and I can't say that my Twitter is Electric Kitty with an underscore in the middle. So you know, we, per, per terms it's of service, there. I can't I can't mention who it is per mm. terms of service. I just yeah. sorry. So it's not because we don't want to. Mm. It's not because. Rules. You know, we're trying to protect them or anything. We can't. Rules are rules. Yeah, no. Whether we like them or not, Twitter, rules are rules. It's very much there. Um, my name is the same as it appears in chat on Twitter. You can go and find everything that you want to find there. Um. So I, 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 I at that point, I like I, I talked to to several folks who had been in his community a lot longer than I had, including Ali Pup and Viv and um you know, Viv who's probably been there longer than everyone. Um and Yeah, Viv was there when I joined. And I, I said, look, I said like I pulled clips of it and I pulled them down and I'm like, listen, this is what happened. This is not okay. This is not cool. And like no none of the other mods were around at the time. So that's when I pulled that yeah. down and I'm like, listen, please, please tell me if I'm off base or not. But this, this to me is not cool. Like you can't do this. And so in the mod chat, not publicly in the public discord, in the mod chat, I said, listen, you can't do this. Like, sorry, but you can't fucking talk like that to viewers. I don't care whether it was a joke or not. You don't joke about something like that. That's not the way you joke with someone. You have no idea who's watching your stream, what they may be dealing with, what they have dealt with. You don't talk like that to a viewer. You just don't. Mm -hmm. 
that's not how you that's that's not how you talk to people. You just we can't do that. Sorry. Um, what gets me? Sorry. No, it's okay. Go ahead. What gets me about him saying stuff like that, and that's not the first thing that I've heard of him saying something similar. But what gets me is he claims to have had education on psychology. That worries me because if he does have that education, he's either using it or doesn't care. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've been in chat when he's been bra when he has bragged about his psychology degree. And oh, he doesn't have a he he doesn't have a degree. He dropped no, he, out. Oh yeah, okay. No, he called it a degree. And it was like I uh, that he could um get more viewers and get more subs if he wanted to because he knew how in a way of manip manipulation and stuff. But he wouldn't because it would be wrong. Then why brag about it? <laughs> so I heard a lot about that. Yeah. That's kind of when I started hanging out less and less. And you know, anytime That's... I stopped hanging out, he'd stop sending me, hey, winky face. So yeah. That would take a lot more ability to handle his own failures than he's ever shown. Mm. Yeah. Because uh, yep. I've watched a couple different, not streamers necessarily, but a couple different friends build platforms from nothing to something. And you have to fall on your face like a hundred times before you find, your, I mean, even more than that, your first viral mm -hmm. hit. And I've watched this person stream like a whopping twice, and you can't be that cranky on a bad day just because you don't have quite the number of viewers that's not going to... No, no. He's cranky more times than he's not lately. For the last few months. It's, it's because it's always been and it always will be a numbers game for him. He's just yeah. looking at the amount of money and the amount of people he looks or he's got looking at him. Mm -hmm. It, like, when he went through his partner push and when I was a mod, he was constantly, constantly, constantly talking about his numbers. It, even against the fact that he had people who he trusted, who he respected, telling him that he needed to not do that. He kept doing it over and over and over and over and over. And he and, always announced that he was like applying for partnership and then it would get denied. And then, you know, circle continues. Yeah. And he, he couldn't. Oh, no, no, no. Mochi, it was entirely his own fault. Entirely his own fault. Yeah. He just, he could not. I... He, he could not grasp that it wasn't supposed to be a numbers game all the time, at the very least. And I... Like I'm, like I pay attention to my numbers. I pay attention to my numbers religiously. Like I look at them every single day. It's, well, yeah. I'm because I'm a streamer, and I, frankly, um, I, this is the, I wish I could do this. You know, five days a week, eight hours a day. Um, so yeah, I I also pay attention to my numbers, and I know there are days that I do better and worse than others. But I don't let that drive my attitude about it. At the very least, exactly. if, if I'm having a rough numbers day or week or whatever, you know, I'm I'm a professional, and I put on a professional face and I deal with it, and then you know I go cry to Lollipop Elena and Alleypop about it. You know, off stream. Even even on your worst, like I'm. Whiny is probably the wrong word, but it's the only word I've got. Like, even on your whiniest days about your numbers, you've never, like, really, truly made it our problem. It, it's always just been, like, you're bummed because you're not at where you would like to be. And 
you're bouncing ideas off us or whatever. You're not like, how very dare you not bring me viewers or how very dare I not be at whatever. Yes. You don't take it all out on us. Well, and, and no, and that's that. the thing, like between like, you know, between my mods and, you know, like my core folks, my crew, I, you know, like you are the people that support me daily and have for the longest time. Like the, I, I wouldn't be where I am without you. Um, more frog hat. Yeah, that's it. That's it. My, my chuckle fucks. That's right, Dom. My chuckle fucks. Um, like I just, I, uh, like I wouldn't be here without y'all. So like, I it, to me, at the very least, using psychology, it seems that it would be counterproductive for me to lash out at the people who have supported me the most and longest as opposed to seeking their advice because they've been here the longest, they've seen what does and doesn't work, why wouldn't I ask them? Why wouldn't I look to their wisdom and their points of view other than my own? I know I'm being rhetorical here because I know there's no real answer to all of this. But... Now you're just being transcendent. Oh, shut your face. <laughs> Dom makes a great point because he's said that multiple times when I was around. I yes, I've I've seen that as well. And, and I, there was also the tweet about how you know most of us are not his friends. And you know what? I can't be close friends with everyone in the community. I, I, I can't. I don't I don't have the mental capacity to do that. Like there are some I don't folks... like people enough for that. Well that's true. Like just in general, not specific people, just I don't like people enough for that. <laughs> but like, I, you know, cause there, there will be naturally, there will be people that I end up, you know, gravitating to and, and just meshing with more than others. It just happens. Like everyone's got different personalities, but like, again, you know, like at, at least it's on some level, people. I'd like to think that I have a lot of friends here. I do. And, Again, I'm I'm thankful for the people that I have because I wouldn't I wouldn't be where I am without the people that I I have. So it's just mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Again, factoring psychology into it, it seems counterproductive to me. Which is also something that was said to him multiple times because we're like taking out uh Oh, yeah. Also, what Viv just said about the Minecraft server, Ooh, where he said, if you join the server because you're expecting it to play with me, you were sorely mistaken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what Viv was what? just saying. <laughs> he was on another server all the time instead. Yeah. But also, like, you know, people said to him, taking out your low numbers on the people who are there isn't going to help anything. But, you know. It's been like, Going to go, join the stream, look at his face for two seconds and see that he's sitting there just angry and responding angrily to people. And also, I just, just like, I just leave. Being... <laughs> and there's also times where he'll just be like silent. Yeah, just staring at his screen. I mean, I, I get when, when, like, it's sometimes you just stare at your stream because you're concentrated, but then at least make sure that the times that you do speak, you don't lash out to your chat. Well, right. Mm. Well, like, like Glotz, I, I, Glotz, I think you're a perfect example of this. I mean, again, you're, you're a technical Minecrafter. Like, a lot of what you do on stream is concentrating on a lot of the builds that you're creating because they're, they're complicated. They, and, you know, a lot of times they're big. And so, you know, there's going to be times where you you kind of stare and, and kind of zone in on what you're doing because you want to make sure that you're you're, you know, getting everything in the right place. Um, but so you're not doing it out of sitting there and being upset or not wanting to speak to your viewers. You're doing it because it's you know you're just you're playing the game. You're doing what you're doing, and that's like that's I it's, I think that's a very very different scenario. You know, very. Yeah, it's one thing to sit and be focused on what you're doing. There's one thing to be actively punishing your audience because there's not enough of them there. 
<laughs> also, also, yeah. Glotz, when you when you when you do a subathon and you're up for like 28 hours, <laughs> right? <laughs> when does your brain turn off in the 28 hours? Uh, like after so... eight? <laughs> How long did you end up going it... that one? Because that was like what about a little, a little over a month ago? Yeah. Oh God. Beginning of October, I was live for 60 hours. 60, oh, 60 hours. Now, now, granted, oh, now, granted. Name. I Granted. thought it was show, as usual. Oh, wow. Stream, Fantastic. So Thank you I... for that. Thank you for that raid. Holy mackerel. Okay. Uh, I'll Raiders, I will I will be right with you. Um, but I want to make I want to make it clear that Glotz wasn't awake for the entire 60 hours. Ice bear good. Right. Ice there was bear. there were a couple of times when he was, you know, he, he did take little cat naps here and there. And his wonderful yeah. fiance, like you, you two haven't gotten married yet, right? We did get married. Oh, you're yeah. married. You did. Oh. oh my god, I didn't know. Congratulations, buddy. Congratulations. <laughs> okay, so so uh, Glotz's Glotz's wonderful wife was still interacting with chat and and letting us know that he was a you know he was okay while he was taking his naps in the middle of his subathon. <laughs> <laughs> naps were good. Oh. Glad you took naps. Yeah. That was that was nutty. Also, welcome I, I, I welcome I raiders. Um. For those of you who are new, I'm Zunderscore. I'm a variety streamer. Tonight is actually group therapy night. Uh, we're talking about some pretty tough stuff tonight um, that's actually, you know, affected a lot of folks in and around um, our community here. Um, and mostly talking about unacceptable behavior. Iceberg um, good. More so iceberg. More good. Welcome in. Um, I appreciate all of y'all being here. Um, okay. Sorry. Go ahead. Ice bear good. More ice bear. More good. I just want to say that I love the ice bear stuff. Thank you. I yeah. love it too. Thank you. Thank y'all all for all these followers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah. I, I think it took like three or four of the alerts for me to realize that um, it was an alert. Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> My brain is soup. Listen. Well, okay. it's also in the middle of the night it's for you. It's also 3 a.m. for you, isn't it's, it? It's definitely not. It is 3 a.m. Yeah. So, <laughs> you, you know, you're. It's, it's I'm a, eating ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> there was almost Ooh, a I have ice cream. way of like, how much time did I get on stream to sleep? Reminding me, I should probably go to sleep soon. <laughs> That's true, Glotz. What yeah. time is it for you, buddy? Also, three a.m. It's three a.m. for you. I was about to say. I thought I I figured you were about six hours ahead of us too, or at least ahead of me. Yeah. Three a.m. party. Oh, yay! Well, Glotz, if you if you do head out, buddy, I I cannot thank you enough for being here. I'm so glad you got to come and and hang out with us and and spend some time. It's it's been just wonderful talking to you. Well, I, I wasn't talking much. I was mostly just enjoying listening to all your beautiful voices. I appreciate voices. you. I don't know you, but I appreciate you. Uh, again, <laughs> if, if y'all are not following Glotz, um, Glotz is an incredible technical Minecrafter, fantastic guy. Um, every once in a great while, we convince him to get into his kitchen with his lovely wife, um, where they, they make meals together, and it's, it's just a, a great, great... Um, time so if you're not please go follow glotz he's he's a wonderful wonderful human being and we love him very much here don't trust him with your cactus farm also yeah well <laughs> well <laughs> try don't don't trust don't trust amateurs with his cactus farm i think it's better i mean okay also fair because <laughs> it was cracko and let's be <laughs> real it's crack. what the story was i think i was just talking to mo and she was like oh yeah i'm i'm I, I want to build a cactus farm, and then because I happen to at that time have the most space efficient cactus farm design that I made with Django. Right. And I was like, "Here, I have a light magic for you." <laughs> and that's and that's when things take a turn with Krakow. <laughs> and, and, and that's when things took a turn. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's uh, fantastic. Things... Uh, thanks for for having me. Uh, anytime, Glass. You're, you're welcome to come anytime you want. I know it's late for you, but you're you're always welcome here, buddy. Yeah, I'll 
I'll see how I have time because I'm trying to get my sleep schedule in in line, and as you can tell, I'm not quite good at it. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, listen. I try to maintain a schedule yeah, yeah. too, and <laughs> why are crack? What's the sleep schedule? Right. You know, sleep schedule is more of a complex topic. <laughs> yeah, that's that's. I went that's to bed sure. at eight a.m. yesterday. Oh. Oh, yeah, so you still have you, you still got plenty of time, Kitty. You you you're fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I I only have stuff to do at one p.m., but it's nothing you know crazy. I just have to drive a car. It's true. It's fine. Oh. <laughs> it's fine. You know, safe stuff. Does does it have airbags? Yes, it does. It's a thirteen year old, very nice, kind of dinged up gray car, named it Gandalf. Nice. Gandalf the Grey. Nice. That's adorable. I like that. And you want to know why I've named it Gandalf? Why is that? Does it have a beard? No, because I have no time management skills. So So you arrive precisely when you mean to. Nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. Nice. My car. Nice. Yes. (sighs) Nice. Yeah, I have no. I, I forget what day it is, what time it is. So it's just like, it. It's me. In car form. Yeah. Dinged up, but nice on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. It is very nice on the inside. That's, that's, that's uh, a 90 year old woman owned it before me. Oh. They took her license away. That's what she sold the car. Oh. So it's dinged up. Barely driven. I think that's how my car ended up. I have a Civic that had like maybe 3,000 miles on it when I bought it. I, I, that's American. What? Oh. oh yeah yeah uh tastic we we've 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 had a oh. we've we've had a very um how do i say vigorous chat tonight um about <laughs> vigorous yeah i i think that's i think that's the, the <laughs> Yeah, that's that's about right. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I love you so much, Kitty. Uh, <laughs> Kitty Kitty's been here Kitty's been here one day and she's already broken. Um yes. Kitty Kitty breaks pretty easily though. I mean that's fair. That's fair. Um but we we've we've had a we've we've had a very long and necessary discussion about some Stuff that's happened in some communities around us, um, and about uh, acceptable and unacceptable behavior, um, and how we don't tolerate unacceptable behavior here. Um, you know, we talk a lot about consent and how uh, consent is only consent if it's fully informed consent, uh, meaning everyone involved, um, including people that you are in the. Um, that you are in a relationship with consents to it as well. Uh, so, you know, and yeah, so we've had, a we've had a lot of, of stuff. Um, no dark. I, this is, this is something that we, we talk about this. This is actually a fairly regular topic for us in general. Um, we, it's not very often that we have specific instances that we can discuss. Um, but this is something yeah. that we talk about quite a bit here, and you know, again, the my crew who's who's here all the time, like Lollipop Elaine and Alley Pop, they can they can tell you this is this is something that we talk about very much about how and it's something that we take very seriously all the time, <laughs> not just right now. No, absolutely. Yeah. Like we 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 joke about you know we joke about a lot of the things that we do here, but. Uh, consent and informed consent is something that we do not joke about at all. Like that's there's lots of lewdness that happens, yes, but it's we, in good fun consensual. and it's consensual. Like, and if some something goes <clears throat> too far, I know I already feel comfortable enough to you know speak up. So yeah, yeah like there's no there's no retaliation if somebody says that they're not comfortable with something. It's this is this and my community as well is meant to be a place that anybody can feel safe being themselves without you know worrying about anything really yeah. being able to be open and you know knowing that they're not going to be judged or ostracized or anything like that oh no don't don't worry dark like it listen if my my twitter feed is just a series of shit posts and me getting angry about people being shitty so it's you know fantastic mm-hmm. Fantastic. I think you're you're absolutely right. We do need to have more of this kind of stuff. Um, I'm I'm glad that we actually have sort of a a lot of 
um the like we have some of the, the the tags and classifications for this kind of stuff um but uh, you know i started group therapy night because i was trying to start down my own you know improving my mental health journey and um you know i i know that it i i know that i can't can't be the only one i i want to make sure that people have a space where they can talk about whatever's whatever they're dealing with you know, like everybody's everybody's got their own battles everybody's got their own stuff that they're dealing with that they're struggling with and i want to make sure that um you know people feel like they, they have a place where they can like like ali said they can they can they can unapologetically be themselves um and and feel not only like that it's accepted but welcome that they that they feel welcomed in our community um and that's that's it and yeah you're absolutely right dark this is this is what i want to make sure is that people know that if they come into our community and they try to pull some shit like this then they will be they will be met with a a, a swift and mighty ban hammer that will resonate mm. because also just we all stick just together for, just for the just for the sake of saying things none of us are trained professionals so we cannot be somebody's therapist yes mm -hmm. correct but we can but we can be there for each other and be you know be a a welcoming be be able to be there for each other but not take the place of a trained professional that's that's absolutely correct yes thank you and that's something that like um when when I push the the vods over to YouTube, that's something that like I I put in like specifically on the group therapy night ones. Like I am not a trained professional. I am just an average bear, just like anybody else who wanders in and and wants to talk about what's on their mind. But yep. I'm I'm doing what I can. It's just providing this space where we can do that, and I want to make sure that everyone feels like that they are welcome here, unless they're an asshole. In which case they are not welcome. That's it. Oh, I think I think this is the point where I leave. Glotz, right? <laughs> 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 no, no, you are the forever. furthest thing from an asshole. Glotz, Glotz, you are. Listen, listen, you are. There's also you are, a good asshole, and th there's there's the right kind of asshole and the wrong kind of asshole. That's true. That's true. Glotz, you are a goddamn delight, is what you are, sir. It's true. It's true. Hey, I think it depends on who you ask, Glotz, because I think Krakow thinks you're an asshole, but Krakow's wrong. Yeah, but also yeah, Krakow is wrong most of the time. But Krakow, yeah. but Krakow, but Krakow is Krakow needs to get good. Is really what what it kind of boils down to. He needs to get good, Scrub. Also, also, have you met Tom? Tom, yes, Tom, my best friend, Tom. Um, he is an asshole. He he doesn't he doesn't get to to be here in he doesn't get to be here on Wednesday nights because Wednesday's wrestling night, and he's he very religiously watches his wrestling, um, but he usually joins us on uh, Mondays and Fridays, um, and Tom, again my best friend in the world, is an absolute asshole, but he's my asshole. Yep, no. he's our asshole. He is. He is okay. our asshole. It's true. But again, Something right kind and wrong kind. He's he's our he's our grumpy old potato, is what he is. Yeah, yeah. So he if he tells potato. you that. If you check, if he asks you if you checked your butt for something, is he asking if you've looked inside him for it? Then? Yes, that's exactly what he's asking. That's correct. <laughs> like, well, he's just trying to open up for you. <laughs> Are you going to human centipede your asshole or? Oh, God. Okay. This is becoming like Inception. Oh, and this is and this is the part. Honestly, I'm. It's taken us, it's taken us an hour and a half, but it's finally devolved. Right? This is this is where the lewds Yay. start to come in. God. Also, no, I, mean, I so so uh, therapy. You're supposed to open up, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I have not like that glass. Um, <laughs> oh. I've, I've had I've had my I have my first therapy session tomorrow. You do. Oh. You Congrats! Do That's great. Thanks. That's very, very good. I can't wait to hear I all found, about like, it. Because I found like an online. I I found the on. I can't remember the name of the app, but there's an app where you can find a medical professional to get like your meds prescribed for you, and they also have a therapy part that you can add on to the program. Mm -hmm. So there's I had the. 
yeah, I know. I just can't think of this one right now. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, but I had my meeting with the doctor part. No, not BetterHelp. I, this one is specifically for like ADHD. I will mm. say, I will say, be very, very careful. Um, I I know there are a lot of great services out there. Um, I have um, MD Live as part of my insurance. And MD Live actually connects you with medical professionals for virtual sessions and visits. Um, but be careful with a lot of the apps out here that provide you with therapy sessions. Um, not all of them are HIPAA compliant because you're not meeting necessarily with like a medical professional. Um, so your information isn't your information, your session data, things like that are not necessarily covered and protected. So be very, very careful. Make sure you do lots of research beforehand so that if you do find someone through an app like that, it is something that is actually like medically covered by HIPAA so that your session information, you know, can't be used elsewhere. It is, it's actually pr mm -hmm. protected. Um, yeah. I found out some not great things about better help after I yeah. quit from them. So they're yeah. not one I would look long at. Yeah. Better no, is cerebral is, is the one that I, I've heard of that one. Right. You don't have those kind of things in Norway. Yeah, Tani is Tani, you're absolutely right. It's P I I versus P H I. <clears throat> like yeah. things like things like your name, address, and phone number, personally identifiable information are still protected, but your personal health information, things like things that you say in sessions are not necessarily protected under a lot of these apps. So be very 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 careful. Yep. I took part in a guided meditation today for the first time. That was interesting. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's fun. Yeah. Oh, not to fully distract, but Glotz, <laughs> weren't you supposed to be going to bed like half an hour <laughs> no. ago? Yeah. No. Yeah, no, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't yeah. tell. We're keeping. <laughs> the, the fun thing is, since, since then, I've, I've been waiting for a pause, and the first pause where I was able to then say goodnight was on the. <laughs> we don't, we don't accept assholes. <laughs> okay, that's my turn. Bye. <laughs> And I was like, okay, do I leave now actually after making that joke or do I <laughs> stay the other It's rather leave. Oh God. Take care of yourself is important. That's yes. true. Yes. Self care self care is incredibly important. Oh, Tani says yeah. you're not allowed to leave. Sorry. Kitty said it, Tani said it. Yeah. Well, listen, I don't make the rules care. here. I'm also be eating an entire I just, thing of Ben and Jerry's. I, Absolutely. I'm I'm just the bear on the screen. That's <laughs> Um, and I just looked, uh, cerebral is covered by like, it is covered by insurance. So I think it's yeah that's good. above, it's above board and all that. Mm. So, um, mean, and, and, and I, I did eat lots of ice cream. Um, I'm lactose intolerant. So high. <laughs> <laughs> I did this to myself. Oh, kitty. <laughs> oh, kitty. It was, it was so good though. It seems like the 3 a.m. gang is not doing so well at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Take care of leaf skin. I'm such a healthy being. Self care is not the same as, in, as self indulgent behavior. That's very true. That is an important distinction. Yes. Eating, yes, I don't do it often. Eating I'm properly lying. and going to bed on time is self care. <laughs> That's true. Yes, it is. Brushing That's your true. teeth is self care. People in a brushing group your teeth is self care. I want to take care of myself more. Also, Drinking people water. in the same group therapy, not taking care of their sleep schedules. <laughs> 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 ah. Viv, Viv, I'm in that statement and I don't appreciate it. <laughs> I don't know yeah. what you're talking about. But there's there's one thing, Kenny, being lactose intolerant, hard age cheeses. They're oh, hard age cheeses. Lactose free. Yeah, mm. that's that's true. Now see, now lacto <laughs> lactose lactose intolerant people look away, but this is the milk stein. This is the milk stein. I'm it's, a heathen. I only drink ice cold milk. It's 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 not it's not ice cold because it's it's it you know be I've been here for a couple cold. hours, but you know it's fine. I can't drink rape time milk. It just <laughs> ice cold milk nope. is best milk. It's true. Yes. It's best for dipping cookies in. But it. We we have lactose-free milk here, mm -hmm. which I buy anyways for my cat. Mm. 
And I drink it too. It's nice. Well, there you go. Seems because like cats are because okay. cats are lactose intolerant. Yeah, and it's like I'll, I'll, I'd rather just buy the lactose-free carton of milk than buy the lactose-free cat milk. Lactose-free milk actually lasts a bit longer than regular milk too. It does. Fair Life, which is which I didn't realize was lactose-free until I had already started drinking it because I liked it better, mm. is is lactose-free and it's delicious. Oh, nice, awesome. Uh, we have um, oat milk mm-hmm, in mm-hmm. Norway. Yep, yep. We, we have that here. Yep. Tani saying milk Oatly. oats. Yep. Now this is this is. This is as Lewis Black, oh, as comedian milk. Lewis Black likes to say, this is moo cow fuck milk. And this is 2%. <laughs> this is 2%. Well, okay. Dark, you're total right. Total fat. <laughs> total fuck fat in water. <laughs> and I got to find the, the, that. that means did, there's, I did not expect that, that. That means there's bottles of water with chunks of fat floating in it. And I got to find that water because that's Ooh. the tasty goddamn shit. No, uh, whole milk. whole milk does taste the best. But, but. Bean can't. She she's not very good with dairy, so she uses mm. it for cereal and stuff. So I want to make sure that you know. Um, it's three. It's whole milk ranges in like the three to four percent range. Yeah, yeah. In in Norway, oh, whole milk is more like five percent. Yeah. <sighs> um, if you buy whole milk from like the farm fresh places. That's where I buy all my eggs. That's true. You they can... have like the unpasteurized five percent. It's like heavy cream. Yeah, you can, oh. you can, you can. There, there are places here that you can get that. You can also get it where it's like unhomogenized, yeah. so you can like skim yeah, yeah, it off the top I mean. if you really want to. Mm-hmm. Um, I've grown up drinking whole milk as a child mm-hmm. with my mom standing over me. Drink this whole milk. I need it to grow. I'm like, but it tastes like cream. I don't like it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So, fun fact. For those of you who are new, um, I am, in fact, the milkman. Nice. So, you know. Nice. I appreciate it. Yeah. You are, in fact, a bear? I am, in fact, a bear. It's true. I am a bear. I did I, I did somehow expect that to say milkmaid, but I don't know why. I, listen, you know. <laughs> milkmaid? Yes. <laughs> yes. It was just my brain. I went, yes, milkmaid. Wait, milkman? Oh. You know, fire. That's that's the thing. You know, like it's whole milk is 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 poorly named because it it gives the impression that it is a hundred percent, but it's not. It, here in the states, it's, it floats around between three and four percent. Um, and and Kitty, like it, like like you have over there in the Netherlands, there are places here that we can find it where it's like the Netherlands, <laughs> Netherlands. Or, Norway. Norway. Or Norway. Norway. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm wow. sorry. I did. I. The Netherlands listen, is cooler. I get it. Listen. I get it. Listen. I'm sorry. It was Norway was in my head. It came out Netherlands. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's, you decided to go for the cooler one. It's fair. It's it's fair. It's, fine. it's fine. It's fine. Ooh, you have offended. It's no. fine. My, I know. But I gotta it pick that you, yeah. It has. It has been <laughs> a long week. <laughs> it, it has been a long week. It has I been a long so week. Much, I have had so much shit on my plate to begin oh. with, so this week wasn't really needed. Not your fault. Not anyone's fault. Only the shit stain himself. That's his fault. Um, <laughs> oh! On the plate. Well, I but, guess like, I've, I've had a rough year. Thank you, Tastic, and thank you, you for the, you the raid. I appreciate you. Have, you have, Kitty. I've, I've had a rough thank you all. Years, and then I've had a year and a half trying to get my driver's license, trying to pay for my driver's license. Ugh. Expensive. And then you're like, I'm catching a break. Nope. I'm nope. catching a break. Okay. Nope. <laughs> I, I just I just got so chased up. Right, guys. Don't say that. Don't say that because you're gonna jinx it. Just, just jinx it. we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna wait for the new year to start. We're gonna we're gonna casu- casually, cautiously, very, no, very quietly sneak our way nothing. into Three the days. new year. And 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 we're not going to call attention to it, and then hopefully it'll yeah. be okay. We have, we have Nobody also might... this year is your year. Yeah, exactly. Also, the kittens just t- chased me up the stairs, and that was hilarious. That's that oh, as, as they coming, do. You see. As they do. That was adorable. I, I can't say I'm pretty excited for January for many reasons. Uh, Viv, we we uh, we we took note of that. We actually have that on notes here at the house about your disdain for coconut. So don't worry, buddy. Oh, coconut. Also takes notes, but I don't use coconut in most things. That's yeah. yeah. 
I'm I used to some Thai food. Yeah. I have a texture thing. I can't yeah. see in certain textures, and coconut's one of those textures that I'm just like, nah, fam. That's, oh, yeah, I can't do yep. coconut. The, the meat of the coconut? Mm-mm. Bean nope. is too sweet. See, or she's I just have, sweet enough. Reminds me of I, I like coconut, but she's that's because bean. no one else in my elementary school liked coconut. So you and so I get extra... Thing. Oh, well, no, I get extra donuts because they'd all give me the donuts oh. and they wouldn't eat. <laughs> yeah. so I am highly motivated by extra donuts. I mean, that's, that's fair. Like... Well, oh, speaking of, Panda. Speaking of donuts, um, up, woman? There's, there's currently a Norwegian donut craze happening in the entire country. Like, donut shops are popping up everywhere for the first time in my life. Oh, man. And we oh, have man. one down the street. Well, in my city, and it's called Donut Worry. Okay, that's right up my alley. Yeah, and they had a Simpsons-inspired donut, and it was called the Homarge. Ooh. To the Simpsons. See, Dark... And it was just like a basic glazed donut. Dark, that's because so, Almond Joy's got nuts, but Mounds, mounds don't. Mounds don't. Because sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you sometimes don't. Sometimes you don't. That's Voodoo it. Donuts. Voodoo Donuts does a does a Simpsons inspired donut too. I've seen out. Voodoo Donuts, and I'm, mm-hmm. I, I just I want to go there for just for the experience. I I went there when I was out in Portland, and uh, they're 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 pretty good. I've only been to the U.S. once. They're yeah, pretty pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty yes, good. Yes, in 2017. <laughs> it's been years since I had my last donut. I wish it's I could been. Oh God, <laughs> it's been <laughs> one week. <laughs> <laughs> if you looked at me, God, no, the song is stuck in my brain now. No. Um, oh, yeah, no. Hey, I, couldn't, I couldn't hear the beginning of the line and not finish it. Listen, this is like welcome back, all the food people. I love oh, that we also, to, quote, to quote us underscore. This is one of the many services that I provide. That's also that's true. like Sunder did it earlier, like in the start when he was being serious, and I had to resist the urge then. So I feel like Chris just had to make up for that now. I did. Yeah. I, I, yeah. We we had uh, to be serious when serious was required, but now that serious has has been and handled, now now we must. Yeah. We must pop culture requires it. Must now be loose. I have oh one God. fun thing that might happen in January, though. Oh, yeah? I may or may not win a lawsuit. We'll see. Oh. oh. Well, fingers like crossed. That's, that's, been the th- that's been a three-year stress thing. It really January, has. On January 6th, um, the opposing party of asshats, as I like to call them, because um, I can't say who they are. Of course. You know, sure, lawsuit. sure, sure. Um, they're having a meeting, and we're going to see if they agree to some terms we have. And if they don't, we'll have to go to court and, you know. Yeah. Again? Again? No, the, the previous court thing was uh, postponed because a guy, oh. uh, he, he called off five days before the court hearing to say that he was suddenly liable or something like that. Oh, like, wow. he, he couldn't um, be unbiased. Ah. Uh, and he waited a month before saying this. Hmm. Uh, and why could he not? Because he had been my psychiatrist once when I was in hospital. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. but since he wrote his name differently that one time compared to what he usually does, his last name is usually two A's, but he used a Norwegian letter instead for some reason. So we couldn't find him. So we thought he was fine. And he thought he was fine, but then he wasn't. Uh, but he um, he is a close co-worker with the expert witness that was court appointed and they discussed the case together and decided to wait until you know as, 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 as close to the court hearing as possible to try and sabotage my case hmm. well fingers fingers crossed for you kitty I'm, I'm hoping yeah, that everything uh, comes out in your favor if it's my favor I'll have money if it's not my favor I'll uh What's it called when you go against them anyways? Talking about money, you don't even need to pay money. If you have your Amazon account connected with Twitch, then you can use your Twitch Prime to subscribe. (laughs) (laughs) Amazing. Um, That was perfect. Glotz, that was... What do you call it? That's phenomenal. That's the smoothest anyone's ever done that here, I gotta say. That's that's just... That was smooth. Smooth like butter. (laughs) Um, but what do you call um, if, like, if you're in a lawsuit and your side loses, but you decide to 
say the uh uh-uh, try again. Appeal. 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 Thank you. An appeal, yeah. See, my explanation was much fun. Much, much fun. Listen, it works. It works. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, appeal. (laughs) I was like, "Uh uh-uh, no. Appeal. I thought that's what you did to a banana. Huh. Peel uh, a banana. Wow. Uh-huh. No, that's what's on a uh, banana appeal. Basically, what's going to happen now is uh, either I appeal or they appeal, and then we <laughs> settle. So we're we're trying to cut to the chase and just settle. Freaking hell. Because it's been three years. Well, again, whatever happens, I, I, I will echo what Viv said. I hope you find the closure that Believe you me, you'll hear it when it happens. It, either I'm really happy... Or I'm making drinks. <laughs> hey, listen, you could make drinks either way. I don't cool. really drink. I don't either. I don't you either. You could listen. make them, though. You don't have to drink them. That's true. true. You could make them. You could make them and share them with friends. <laughs> you know, safely. As, as, safely. As safely as, as you can. As someone who also doesn't drink, so. I've had a bottle of coconut rum in my fridge since October. I've had some, one shot from it. For some reason, coconut rum just tastes like Sunscreen? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. That, yeah. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, exactly. But in 2017, I was in Long Beach, and uh, someone was like, oh, you should get a uh, rum and coke, but do coconut rum instead. It takes a bit like vanilla coke, and I like vanilla coke. So mm. I did, and it was nice. And that's why I have it. For the good. one occasional rum and coke I have once in a while. Nice. Yep. That's We've good. Been. Oh, hey, 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 strimmer, yes. strimmer. Where? What? Have you found a therapist yet? No, I haven't found a therapist yet. That's that's Aww. on my t- it's on my to do list. Hey. hey, hey, lollipop. Yeah, staff member. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> staff member. It's two different ways to say dick. Oh. Welcome to the real thing it, that happens it, around here. And it makes is... lo- it makes lollipop giggle every time. So you know. And that staff member's is name. Dick from that, staff members. That that. That staff member's name, Rod Johnson. No oh, God. <laughs> oh, don't. I was going to say Richard. Don't don't forget don't forget his assistant Dick Peters. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I did a, it. We from... have a lot of words for penis in the region. Hey Ayla, I'll show you a double D. Oh my. Yeah. God. Okay. You know what? That's. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, I went there. Yeah. Do it. Lewd. Yeah. There you First go. First lewd of the night, I'll take it. First <laughs> lewd of the night. Well done. I'm proud of you. Well done. I'm proud of you. Wait, what do I win? Uh, uh, and is this when I say a new car? Nice. Is, is this when I just backtrack and say this is how you're you're lewd in a community without it being you know targeted at someone? Yeah. 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 This is this, yeah, this is this is what it all being consensual is. This is what this yeah. is what we yeah. do here. Hi this Matt. Is what we do Love here, you, Matt. Yeah. Hi Matt. Hello. We we do we do the consensual looting and it's fun. Yeah, and then looting. and then Matt and, and, then and Matt Ayla will... has made herself firmly on top of me. Also, wow. yes. looting free sword in Minecraft. Um, I think very I'm unrelated. I have a very nice sticker that was given for Christmas, and it says, "Thou shalt not mess with women's reproductive rights." Philippians four twenty eight. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice, I like that. There it is. There's like the looter there. board. See, oh, yes. Ayla is firmly on top of me. It's that's true. <laughs> that's true. It's a nice place to be. I mean, what? I'm not complaining. Yep. See, there, <laughs> there you go. And welcome, welcome to what we do the other 95 percent of the yeah. time around here. <laughs> I like this. It's very nice. I had to, I had to, you know, bring it out. Oh, and there's the yikes wait, wait. count. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yikes count. Yeah. So, the, yikes is the game that you don't want to be on the board with. It's true. It's true. It's not a good one. Yikes is oh. so so. Ludes obviously ludes are what they are. The yikes is mm-hmm. basically whenever you do do or say something cringe worthy, that's a yikes. Mm-hmm. And every once in There's a while, like, it's gotta be really. It's gotta be really cringe. Yeah, it's gotta so be I super feel like cringe. I, if if I'm just just give me enough time here. And I'll be Viv so fast. That's that's fair. Listen, Viv's Viv's gotten a couple of big yikes from me. You get a like mm-hmm. something that's especially just 
oof, then you'll get a big yikes. And big uh, Viv's gotten oh. a couple of those from you're not winning yikes, Viv. You're it's like golf, buddy. You're losing yikes. It's like golf. You <laughs> want the low golf. score. The low score wins. <laughs> You also Golf's don't the give first sh- hundred, right? <laughs> yes, that's it. Perfect. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah. matter is also very don't good. Don't give at yikes. Strimmer a yike because if you give Strimmer a yike, that's a big yikes. Apparently. That's also I true. That's that. a, that's true. He he lollipop, five of lollipops, eleven yikes is he got a big yikes from me for giving me a yikes, which frankly was unwarranted. <laughs> I don't even remember what it was for, but he did it and fuck him. <laughs> Fuck him, that's what I'd say. I'm like 99% sure you deserved it, but whatever. 99. Listen, this is not like the code thing from last week. The code thing? Look, look, Viv, just because your dad shot Jesus. (laughs) And Santa. Just because your dad shot Jesus. And and Santa. Santa, (laughs) Doesn't mean that you didn't deserve your yikes. Okay. There is so much Zunder lore to catch you guys up on. Oh, wow. There's, yeah, there's a lot of lore. (laughs) You, okay. All right. So let's 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 first of all, Lollipop and I work together. I'm actually now his boss, um, mm. because um, don't tell my boss. Yeah, don't <laughs> tell his boss. Um, I we we've been working together for a little over two years now, um, and we are both we're software engineers at a credit union. Um, oh. oh. So fancy. Yeah. Well, no, it's no, no. I think no, he's no, it's, it, it's fancy. Just accept it. We roll our faces across keyboards so that the magic box does things. That's that's not fancy. We it, it's we, fancy. we just we face roll for fancy. a living. If you can uh, it do you want to know what I do for a living? Fancy. What, I, I get out of bed and I shower sometimes. Hey, you know what? That's you, fancy. That's Dom. that's fancy. Dom. Dom. Hello, Don. Your job is fancy, except it you John snowed yourself into fancy pants. No, Dark, that's why mm, I, that's no, why I have the beard. For. No, he applied oh, for this one. Pants. John no. snowed there, himself into what? There, there's Dom. Okay, all right. So let's 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 back up a second. <laughs> this is this is where this usually usually the stream has started derailing like this two hours ago, but you mm-hmm. know we we had more important things to talk about tonight. We actually had yeah, serious things on track. Today. Yes. Us. Yeah. Are you saying we now have to like cram in two hours of lewdness into twenty one minutes? Jesus Christ! I mean, no, I don't want to. I don't want to break the stream down. down. We all crammed. We all I mean, clamor to do the all cram two hours into you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't me please. Please. I was gonna say that's just Ayla existing. I don't feel like that's <laughs> poor Zunder. This is Zunder um, immediately is, is regrets this, giving me access. This, to when this I, is my I fucking tell you life. Guys about a phrasing we have in Norway um, that just relates to cramming. Oh God. Um, roughly right translated, it it means anything goes with enough fours and Vaseline. Oh my God. Oh my. <laughs> and. What we're saying um, here is mm, anything's a dildo mm. if you're brave enough. Yeah. yeah, we have that one. Um in Norwegian it's alt go alt slang minok vak bleh alt go minok makta vaseline. Which kind of if you're in a tough spot and you you need something to just fucking work. You just say that. Yeah. No, oh, 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 you know what? You know what? That's I I'm I'm with Viv on that one. That's that's a loot and <laughs> Kitty, congratulations. That's that's your first loot. You got your first loot on night one. Congratulations. Well done. See, I'm so I'm proud skills. of you, Kitty. I'm so proud. Skills. Yes, Viv, this is um, the same Gatorade that's been here. I just haven't pulled it out You have a very yet. special set of skills. Yeah, just be silly and lewd when I didn't even mean to. That's um, also true, means underscore the adultiest adult. I am not. Why, why? He is the adultiest adult. God damn. He is the adultiest Zunder adult. Also lost the game. Have, oh, God damn it. I, okay. Wait, did Zunder just lose a game? I, I got, I got a letter. Pictures. You mm-hmm. mother of... Uh, I swear to God. In Norway, we have a digital mailbox where you get bills and stuff. Wait, seriously? Yeah. So I like want a digital email address. mailbox? It's great. So I just got uh, a warning that in a month, they'll take the loan money for my house loan. Okay. Isn't that just called an email address? Yes, Ranger, you did all just lose the game. Everybody just lost oh, the no. game. Oh, no. Oh! Yep. 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 Uh, yep. I I I know exactly how long since the last time I lost the game. Was it like, like five, five seconds? seconds ago? No, it was October first. What was the game? I the game. The, the game. game. Oh, it's the game. Glotz, do you do you not um, know about the game? 
Do we have to explain the game? Yeah, I'm yes. going to I'll explain it to Glotz. Okay, so Glotz, have you ever seen the movie War Games? It's an 80s movie with Matthew Broderick where he ha he accidentally hacks into a uh, uh like a defense computer. No. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. The tagline from the movie is the only winning move is not to play, okay? The mm -hmm. the game simply exists so that you don't think about the game. If you think about the game, you have already lost the game, at which point <laughs> you are obligated to notify everyone that you just lost the game, which causes them to think about the game and so on and so forth, and then we're yeah. all dead. And that's basically yeah. how the game works. Um, I have never seen the movie either. I think um, we've seen it once. I just remember my first anime convention in Oslo. Lude. And it, it, it gets worse. It was a Yaoi Yuri convention. Oh, gosh. It was my first time ever going to anything. Um, and I wore booty shorts. You jumped in great. the deep end there. Yeah. Yeah, that's and like a deep dive. I wore a My Chemical Romance oversized hoodie and booty shorts and black and red striped stockings. Can and I, I had a mohawk. That's... Oh, I love I was, you. I, I wish I had photos, but I don't. Um, and I just remember this one person running through the hole in a latex suit with a flag that said the game. Oh, and amazing. Just the collective groan of the crowd as they all lost the game. Amazing. Right. Yeah. That's nice. Honestly... Allie, me too. I hadn't I hadn't heard the origin of the game before either. Me either. Yeah. I just knew it from anime conventions and or Tumblr. I learned about the game when I was in elementary school. I don't remember when I learned about the game. Oh, At some point is... I stopped caring mean? and and I am amused when people lose the game it's... and I'm amused when I get to tell people about losing the game. It's true. These are these are all true statements. <laughs> it is fun. Um Wait. It's fun when people actually get upset about it. Hold on, Elena, you went to so cons? We're like, ah, shit. Yes, I used to go to anime cons. I, I know. I, I, I would have pegged you as it a was con a very... person. All my friends I... were into it, and um, mm -hmm. I ended up gophering a lot. Okay, that's or fair. Or working in the department. So I wouldn't go to the cons to like go to the panels. I was usually either part of the gopher department or head of the gopher department. That's Okay, that's, that's understandable. Listen, I... I will pay. <laughs> I will pay twenty four hundred dollars to go to Microsoft's developer annual developer conference when they, you know, when they do them in person. Uh, I will do that, and instead of going to the sessions, which I can go and find online for free, I will go hang out with people, and then like my friends that are running booths or tables or whatever, I will I will do the same thing. Picture I, I, Sicily, I went to nineteen twelve. As we've had this discussion, Thunder, I live to be helpful. I know, and I know you do. And you <laughs> listen. You were you were helpful today. Oh, you didn't even oh, know. Speaking it. of which, speaking of which, yeah, he doesn't know what he wants yet, but he did uh, slightly mention that he might be needing more crafting gear. I'm, soon. I'm listen. Oh. I might. I might need some gear. Yay! I might need some gear in fourteen. So if you can outfit my level fifty gatherers. Yes. With some good, like, perception and gathering gear. Chris, make a list. The, uh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> Tani, Tani, I, I, I want to see like... video of you giving, like, describing the game at, like, at, like, a keynote. I would love to see this. <laughs> and Ayla, um, Ayla. And I Puppet just remember too. I had a picture of me from my anime convention days. And I'm wearing, I have two pictures. I'm one I'm wearing a Pikachu onesie in. Well, that's adorable. Oh, Pikachu. That's that's and heckin adorable. And lots of in my hair. I okay. I find it. So I uh, I've 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 never been to a con, and uh, really, I, I I've always you wanted to. You seem like the type of person who would have gotten dragged along to one at least once. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. I've so never. I've never been to a con. Um, I've, uh, I've always wanted to go. Um, I think I would have a lot of fun. I would have a lot of fun cosplaying. My issue always mm -hmm. is I keep trying to, to fi figure out characters that I could cosplay as, but also 
I'm really bad. This is like why Halloween costumes never work out for me because I always wait to the last minute to actually, you know, do whatever the costume is. And I kind of, you know, don't. So then I always, I always like, <laughs> I, I, I fuck off and I do something like, um, like thrown together and, and, kind of phoning it in like i'll put on a bathrobe and i'll be the dude or i'll put on a different uh-huh. bathrobe and i'll be hagrid because i'll carry i'll put <laughs> on my my flying goggles and carry around a lantern um and so you know stuff like that this anime comes but i don't think i can go back yeah there's there's a lot of drama to them and they were an era that i don't wish to revisit like it was a ton of fun, but yeah, that was that. Uh, yeah, and there's also a lot I know now that I didn't then that attracts a skeezy crowd. Rue, oh. Rue, don't even joke about that. Don't even joke about that, because if we don't. If we joke about that, do we get it? Because no. I would... No, this is it. this is why you don't joke about it because the minute you put something like that out into the universe, these chuckle fucks aren't gonna shut the fuck up about <laughs> oh, it until it happens. That's true. That's true. Um, I, I'm joining in in the, the whatever you call us and saying that happened. Yeah. Oh, so, oh, oh, so, you, so you're nominating yourself as a chuckle fuck now? God damn yes. it! See. See yes. one. I'm welcome to Kit- the chocolate. Kitty comes to there's stream reason, one time. There's a reason Kitty's. There's a reason Kitty's one of my people. I, oh, well. <laughs> I'm gonna get sappy, and, and whenever people, someone calls you're, me people, I get kind of teary eyed. Well, you are I probably you, you are easy. probably very lucky Thanksies. that Mochi Bunny is not here to hear about Sailor Moon right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good really point. Good. That's a good I'm point. Some way like clip things and send clips to people. That's true. And so, so sailors under when? Like, how many channel points do I need? No, for this? stop that! Stop yeah. that! Okay, how much, listen. How much of a donation Let do me, you need? Again, like, uh, again, for those of you who are new here, for those of you who are new here, this is this is this is the same. This is the same group that, based on a, an original idea from from Cracko, who one, you should never take an idea from Cracko, and two, you should never validate it. Um. But Krakow mm-hmm. has been trying to really? get us to, or trying to get me, for the love of God, I can't believe I'm going to say it out loud. Krakow wants me to do a Bowsette cosplay. Do it. Yeah. Oh my God, do it. See, see, this is, this is what the fuck. Mama I'm didn't raise no bitch. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, Dom. Do you, do you, you, you kangaroo ass motherfucker. Thunder, thunder. Do it, You'd be do it, you won't. Thunder, you'd be Bobo Z- Zawundaskowo. You have to do it. Oh my you god. Have to do it. You have to Besides, do it. You have to do it. I forget the exact context text, but I already put it out there into the world that he should do he should turn into Santa via some sort of t- Sailor Moon esque transformation. So Let me tell you, you know, let me, let just... me that that's I that offends me on so many different levels. Although okay. All right. Fine. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go find this real quick. Okay, so several years ago, I used to work for a software company. Okay. Uh, one that, uh, Glotz, what were you saying, bud? Oh no, because <laughs> you were saying like I'm gonna find it. I'm like, oh, you already have the cosplay. Oh, no, <laughs> I don't have that cosplay. So yes, no. So it happened. So several years ago, uh, when Lollipop and I worked together the first time and didn't even know it, um, we worked for a software company together. I worked on a different product than he did. Um, but one time, like we, we went on this cruise. Okay. And, um, we had had a really good year in our department. We went on the cruise and I'm trying to find where the hell is this anyway. Um, so on the cruise there, other folks in our group kept coming across this one guy. They're like, Santa's on the cruise. And I'm like, what? They're like, Santa's on the cruise, and it's you from the future. I'm like, no. No, it's not. They're like, yes, it is. is. Have you seen that? Have I shown you this picture? Yes. And I'm like, I'm like, it is you from the future. I'm like, no, it's not. 
no, 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 this is, no, it's not. And they're like, yes, it is. This is, this is you. And I'm like, I don't believe you. I don't, I don't believe you at all. And so eventually I do see this guy, but like in the pool. And so he's, he's got this red baseball cap on with white stitching in the back of it. No, on the front of it, it says this. On the back, it just says SC. Swear to God. On the front, it says, yes, I am. And have you been good? That's all it says. Okay? Wow. So, they're like, you gotta, you gotta meet this guy. I'm like, fucking whatever. So, one night, we're hanging out on, like, by the pool. It's later, so no one's really in the pool, but we see the guy. And I'm like, they're like, you have to go. You have to go talk to the guy. And I'm like, fucking fine. I will go talk to the guy. And I did. And I got a picture with him. And folks, it's me from the future. Okay. Oh, my God. That is Santa. And that is you from the future. You're Santa. So are you are you saying that Santa Claus moonlights as a game developer or a <laughs> <co> developer? <laughs> Who fucking knows? Who fucking knows? <laughs> now here's 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 That's how he sees you when you're sleeping. He's he's got all like the coding program. It going gets on. it oh, gets God. it gets better. It gets better. So um fast forward a few months later. And our department is out doing one of their um, their like monthly get together things. I couldn't do it because I had a final exam that day. I was taking some courses, working on my degree. They went to the Ren Fair. No shit. The same fucking guy that was on our cruise was there with them, and multiple people oh got pictures of him. The same fucking guy. <laughs> so uh, at this point, everyone's convinced that it is actually me from the future. And I went to Ren Fair that day because I missed out on it with my team at the time. Uh, you still got a bit of your screen on your screen. Oh, I still do. That's that was when I had. Okay, I got a. I, that's when I was on Q Watch. So what I would do is I would have like I would I would launch 14. So it's just like the chat here. But like I would launch I would launch um 14 and the Q would sit right here in in this spot. Oh. So we could watch the Q and see how long it would take for for me to be able to get logged in. Um But yeah. Okay. Yeah, well. Well, Mochi's back from Lurk, so, you know. Hey, hey Viv, Viv, that means your dad didn't kill Santa when he shot him. Have a great rest of your stream. I gotta leave now. Leave thank well. you, thank you so, well. thank you so Glots. much, Glotz. I love you, buddy. Go get some rest. We'll oh, talk to you soon. Love you too, guys. Bye. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Um, I'm gonna just pretend that it's not 4 a.m. and I'm not going anywhere. Thank you. Bye. No, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't worry about it. Okay. I, I could go to bed, but no. Okay, Kitty. The, like, but it's the, much more fun if you don't. The oh, the yeah, Pikachu yeah. onesie. The Pikachu onesie is that's legit. Yeah. Did Did you see mine? I had recently shaved my head from the mohawk. Then I think. Did Did Did, did you see mine? That's very Whatever. raw energy, I must say. Yeah. Very raw. And um, the the I'm caption on that picture was "Care Bear Sarah is going to get you." Nice. That's that's um, yeah, that's fair. You can tell I'm holding an egg. It was an anime convention, it, and they Dom. hid Pokemon shaped eggs, or Pokemon eggs around. And you had to find them. It was egg hunt for Pokemon eggs. That's amazing. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah that was interesting. Uh, and that's a close friend of mine. Um, we bought the onesies just for fun. Yeah, um, we we play on Adamantoys in fourteen dark, and our our 
Q has has dropped considerably over the last what, like three or four days. Oh, I um, used to play Final Fantasy. It's critically acclaimed, you know. Yeah, I just prefer Guild Wars Two. You know what? And that's fair. That's fair. It's really okay to be wrong. You know, it's fine. <laughs> no, that's it's, oh. Like, oh, you can, goes, you can have nothing out of mine thing. Um, I played Guild Wars One when it came out for like five years, and then I moved over to Guild Wars Two, and it was horrible. And now it's gotten better, so I like it now. Um. So there, there are some places where the queue is still bad. Some places where it's starting to get better. On Adamantois, it's starting to get a little better. I think a lot of our people have, um, have gotten like, uh, they've they've gotten through most of their MSQs, so they're starting to like, like drop back. Um, mm. at least until Tuesday. At least yeah. until Tuesday. Yeah. I want to play more. Um, because a friend of mine was, was did the very nice thing of being like, "You should play more." So he gifted me, you know, the deluxe copies of the game. So now every time I don't open it, I feel guilty. <laughs> yeah, no one's ever done that to me. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of, I got my gift returned to me. Well, I didn't claim it. I'm yeah. sorry. In my in my defense, I hadn't opened Steam no, for whatever. months. Whatever. How can you not open Steam? Because he plays Xbox. I I do. Um, he's, a, he's a shill for Microsoft. I really am. Uh, I like it. <clears throat> it's bad. Like I I want an Xbox, but I don't have so one. so bad. A friend of mine works for Xbox, like social media stuff here in Norway. Oh neat. And well, she I mean, still had a hard time getting an Xbox. You you actually don't have to have an Xbox to play Xbox games using the Xbox Game Pass. Except for I, I need it if I want to play Fable. Oh yeah, new Fable's coming. New Fable's coming. I I got my first Xbox um to play Fable three. Mm hmm. Uh, and I got it's it's uh, back when um the, the 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 pricing didn't automatically go from online to in store. So I printed the page from the website where it was what it, where it said it was cheaper, and I brought it in. I was like, "It's cheaper on the website. Price match me." <laughs> that's Mochi. And I got a uh, sale on it. Mochi, that's fair. That's fair. That's what that's what Bean does. Like the Xbox down in the stairs in the living room is our home Xbox, and I'm I'm signed mm -hmm. into all of the Xbox and in the house. So um, nice. That's Bean. Bean gets my Game Pass. <gasps> Your husband works for Microsoft. Oh Jesus. Ooh. Okay. Oh yeah, I uh, someone gave me a free uh, Windows code when I built my PC because they work for the thingy. There, there is yeah, there, nice. there is a non-zero <laughs> chance that I'm I could play like six <laughs> degrees of your husband and be within like. I I guarantee you, I know somebody that knows your husband. I don't know how I might, but I probably. Sure. Uh, well, you well you do you do know you do, you do know Mochi, so therefore you know husband. I mean, uh, someone you know, at someone Microsoft. Yeah, damn it, Dom. You love me. Uh huh. That's so what. Um. Okay. Viv, I don't know what you're talking about. So let let's let's let me let me let me get back to to being serious for just a second. Um. Mm. I I want to say uh, thanks to everybody who was here tonight. Um. I know we talked about a lot of really heavy and serious stuff, and especially on Fritz's birthday. We love Fritz very much. Um, I want to, you know, thank all of you who who are new, who came in today, um, to uh, to you, Liz and Kitty, for coming by and you know taking the time to tell us about ice your bear experience. Good. More ice bear, more good. Um, <laughs> I. What? What? It's the alert. It uh, just it, it makes me jump every time. Oh, okay, Bear that's fair. Tokyo Drift. That's fair. Um, but I wanted to, I want to thank y'all all for being here tonight. Um, I'm, uh, I I want to make sure again that we always have a a place here to where we can talk about you know the heavy stuff if we need to. We make sure that people are um. That they know that they're they're welcome here. That that we don't tolerate that kind of behavior here. 
um, and um, that we always we have a fun time, but we're always respectful of each other. Hi, Spirit um, ready to Tokyo so, Drift. Um, I I, I want to thank you all again for being here tonight. That I I appreciate you all coming by. Of course. Of course. Thank you for having us. Anytime. Anytime. I do have a bit you of. You can't bad get rid of me. Yeah, I'm stuck. I know you're. You're like a fucking stray. I fed you once. You won't go away. I am a pup, after all. Uh, you're a puppy yeah. cat. All right, the hey, cat. I am. But hey, I, hey, streamer. So now we got a dog and a cat. What hey. streamer? What? Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. We're done. We're done. We're 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 fucking done. Uh, no, we're not. Oh no, we're never done. Oh. <laughs> My cat came to say hello. Hi, Until kitty. next time. Hi, hello, kitties, cat. Kitty. Hello, kitties. We, we we love we love all the kitties around here. We love all the critters. Listen, in the Discord, go to our critters channel. It has the best critters. We have the best critters. I'm biased because there are critters collectively, but we still have the best critters. I have to ask: Are there spiders? No, there's no spot. We don't have any spiders. Okay. No spiders. Okay. Also, if you have anything like that that you do want to post, please spoiler tag it first so that people know. Let's just let them know. Yeah, I have severe arachnophobia, which is very silly for living in Norway because we have no dangerous spiders. But I still just about shit myself when I see a tiny one. Eh, listen, it's. It found a bomb. It did find a bomb. That's a hammock. Look at that good boy. All right. Um, I'm just holding my cat. So let's see. What do we got going on? Um, Friday. I'm doing golf with your friends. Uh, that was Matter's pick. Um, so we're playing golf with your friends on Friday. I may run late to go into the new year. Um, so we Fridays we normally go 7.30p to 11p Eastern. I might go to midnight. We'll see what happens. Um, then next week, I'm going to try to get it back into 14 on Monday. Oh, Sunday. Sunday, we're playing Among Us because Sunday is Sus Day. Um, Sus Monday, Day, best Sunday, day. Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Like a very long time. Um, so Come join us. You should. You we'll should. See. It's a fun time. Um, so Sus Day on Sunday. Monday, I'm going to try to get back into 14. We'll see how, to, how it goes. Um, again, next Wednesday is group therapy night. And next Friday... I'm working on something very, very special. Um, I'm still putting everything together. I don't have anything to announce just yet, but stick around on Monday. I'll put out the schedule so that everybody knows what's going on. But I do have a very special, very big announcement next Friday, 7th. You have a face? Don't tell. Don't you guys, are you don't serious? You guys hear the motor right now. Are you, Why are you going to spoil things, Lollipop? It's, Jesus, like, it's like your like, hand holding. I swear to God. Wait, like, wait. Never mind. He's if throwing Strimmer it down. Has face, does he also have legs? No. 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 Well, let's not get too hasty. No. Hey. 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 Whoa. 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 Streamers don't have a, a, a no. bottom of their body. No. It, it's just all chest. It's all like. Well, I'm all chest. Mine's not. Same. <laughs> <laughs> They're talking uh, about boobies, you see. Uh, yes. Yes. I. Uh, yes. They. They sure are, buddy. They sure are. Okay. Anyway. Um, yeah. So. <laughs> Next next Friday, next Friday the seventh, uh, big big stuff. I'm still trying to figure out all the details of what we're doing that night, but huge announcement. Very excited, very very just. Yee, this is new year, new everything. Um, I was very excited for you too. Yes. Thank you, but you have a bob, so ow, you, ow, your ow. excitement's contained. Um, I said Bob is very excited for you. Oh, Bob is very <laughs> excited for me. Yes, well, he's in his own very subdued Bob way. Mm -hmm. he's, he's a very good kitty um, let's see alright so we, we we gotta get out of here let's see who's doing stuff wait a minute is she still going she's still is, doing stuff is she, is she, does she seem like she's winding down I don't know I haven't been listening because I've been here that's a fair point let's go annoy her anyways alright screw it we're gonna go annoy her uh, we're gonna go see best friend Mo. Uh, for those of you who do oh. not know Mo, Fear my noodle arms, bitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mo is phenomenal. She's uh, she's a Minecrafter. 
She is one of my dearest friends. Um, her stream is she PG. She is best friend Mo, after all. She is best friend Mo. It's true. Um, sh she is uh, PG-13, so please be respectful of that when you go into her chat. Um, but we love best friend Mo very, very much. Um, and we're going to go watch her. She's playing Skyblock uh, on a Skyblock world right now with Krakow. So, yeah, we're... Let's just say it's it's going to be very chaotic and, you know, enjoy it. Very froggy. Very froggy. Until Friday. Same, same, oh. same Viv. Ditto. Yes. Uh, and, and, and same. That that ditto. If, if anyone would like to speak or ever needs anything that they would like to talk about, you can DM me. I, I, I might not be available all the time, but... I'm always I'm always willing to listen, so um, I I appreciate y'all being here. Open. I appreciate y'all. Can we talk so about our, uh, our Lord and Savior Yoshi P? Also yes, also yes. All right, we're getting out of here. We're gonna go see best friend Mo. I love y'all so much. I will see you on Friday. Until then, be good to each other. Be good to yourselves, and get the fuck out. We're done. Love your faces. Penis. <laughs>